Hello everybody, welcome to the Lowe's Fly Show. My name is Pius Madrid and we are now live with uh, well, we're gonna play Pyre eventually, uh, but I did notice it was a, brought to my attention today that there's Gamescom trailers, so we're gonna watch that. Uh, and welcome to the chat, Diggs, by the way. <laughs> uh, I'm not ignoring you. So we're gonna switch it real quick to just just chatting. Um, I assume that uh, TikTok had it as uh, oh, we don't have TikTok on. Okay, cool. That's fair. Oh, I didn't realize. No, that's fine. It makes it a lot more simple for tomorrow. This is me, by the way. I'm Pyrus. This is my wife, Ada. Okay, we got Pyre. I want to do a window capture. I want to do a display setting thing. Changing this kind of stuff while we are live is kind of a mess, but... Mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting it, so I didn't set up for No, it. no, don't worry about it. I know. <laughs> I forgot about it until like five minutes ago. I almost kind of want to be like, do you want to just do that tomorrow morning? Uh, we could, but I don't. Okay. So we gotta switch to. Is it HDMI one for the PC? I think it's three. three. I think one is set up for the AV. Is gonna be set up for the AV. Okay, good. We got the other. Unless I set the AV to go. Everything is super giant themed today, including my <laughs> desktop background. Uh, okay, so we're gonna turn off the video capture device real quick. Do window capture. I have to do music. Oh, this is gonna be a mess. <laughs> okay. I'm doing this to myself. I'm doing this to myself. <laughs> okay. Let us make Toshiba the basic sound. Let's do this. Let go to window capture. No, oh, not this. Uh, it would be this one. Oh, uh, dude, this is best Gamescom opening? I don't want best, I want all. Can I get all? I suppose not. Okay, we're gonna throw Maximum demo available for Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Where does childlike wonder take you? Not in here. Stop giving me this ad. I love that they give us Borderlands 4 right off the bat. So three obvious spoilers immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw Indiana Jones and a Warhammer character. I see Ada has rekindled her hatred for one of the best characters of Pyre. It's a joke though. Okay, ready? Yep. So this one I knew about. Pretty good that they gave it to us first. I'm okay with just watching the, just the best ones. 55 minutes is a... Uh, I want to be excited for this one, but like... Gearbox. Oh, man, said a comet. That's the great fault. Oh. It appear my coworker doesn't know the door as much as I want. <laughs> oh my god. That's Lilith, I assume? Is that all of them coming back? Like, coming back? I don't know, because this is what I was thinking about, so... That's a psycho man. man. And then that hand kind of looks like Gage, but very sharp. So, cool! But, like, look at this. It's tearing holes in reality. The Great Vault is just frick. Yeah. So, we're gonna be in another universe. I guess. Yeah, that's my guess. And then a psycho old mask. So, I'm just kind of spooked by, like, what it's gonna be. I don't know where they can take it from, like, three. Really, we never got to see the Great Vault, right? The Great Vault contained the actual destroyer. Oh. What okay, if I told you there was a connection between ancient cultures around the, the world? A great circle. Does it exist? Is it the key to some lost power? That's up to you to uncover. It looks like it's VR. Yeah. I'm Troy Baker, and I play Indy. It's Maybe humbling it. playing a character that's okay. Jones in the th these years like later. I would a dream that I can a first person game like well, this. Is that but he looks we like all <laughs> punch and the professor. Oh yeah. An archaeologist. 
on advent. Okay, we already know what Indiana Jones is. And it looks that hold the secret. Okay, I guess. Yeah. Exciting. It's next box only. This thing of ours. A monster game. I'm playing it too. You don't mind if I skip through? No. Jesus! This next one's gonna be even shorter. Holy cow! We actually kind of already knew about this one. Yeah, because we've seen it before, right? Yeah, I don't know if it's just coming to another console. Or... It's a Warhammer game. Get what we need from the senator, then grab at the most wanted? black site before anyone knows what's happening. The camera actually works. Sometimes I surprise even myself. So now uh, I see. Senator's on stage now. Use your camera to get a better look. Oh wait, no. Senator's on. This is Black Ops Six. And he doesn't use your camera anywhere. With and you got JFK. Okay. Well, could you be another? Cop Six. When did we get five? I kind of gave up Never at some point. I gave up at Call of Duty One. <laughs> Okay, this one. I'm gonna watch this one. <laughs> My word. We keep getting new stuff. Of Barina, Everything they've shown us about the game is like wool, but like cool. Oh, okay. Nursilla! Not a Nursilla, but something similar. I really we don't get enough of these monsters, so I'm very happy to see that. I don't like spider monsters in like two days. Oh, okay. Spare force. Right, you see that monster in every trailer. Ventures gonna be like the first thing we fight. Okay, they've put the, the dual blade on. This we could do here. a lot worse for an interim camp. <coughs> Once your business here is concluded, you should find shelter. The sands. The question come is, what's going to be the natural calamity monster? Here? Like a wild yeah. beast bristling with lightning. Oh. Hello. From the look of it. That must oh be yeah. Isn't this the one in the movie? No. Okay. No, the one in the movie was. Not a Gormagallus? I thought this was a Astalon? It's not quite Astalon, it doesn't look nice to <laughs> This will be the first Monster Hunter game that's designed for this line of bucks. Like World of Nightborn, just for PS4? Yeah. I have Thanks you for the follow, Cat Jet Cuisine. Um, Rise was designed on Switch first and then they made it to the next console. Very sexy. Very nice. Very demure. So tasty. Which they have announced another console after the Switch. Yeah, I know. No! Cracker Barrel. Now this is cheese. This is not us. Dying light. The tracks lead this way. Another one? This will be the third one, I think. This is apparently one of the most fun, like, zombie apocalypse games. It's close. Right, dying light's got this whole, like... Stay here. Stand guard. Hardcore thing going on. At the moment, I'm just doing Predator. <laughs> on me. It was in the Predator universe the whole time. Don't that it Predator. looks like literally any... Any... While well, we're watching something, hunt something else. Yeah.
Every man is him. an animal within. If you push too We're told much, in line one, I you ought to unleash the beast. That you need to be inside by the time it gets dark, because that's when the big robbers come out. Parkour! Mm -hmm. Because, like, the higher up you are, the further away from you are. Not the cross yeah, you've got, like, thorns of dying light. That are just on the ground. Didn't you show me this game at one point? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's get started. This uh, is the geez. new... Number one. Something beyond my strength limit. Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi game. Oh, hey, they took the... <laughs> and I don't know how it's gonna be because I tend to be disappointed by the new Dragon Ball games. But good to know we've got new characters. <laughs> I'm sorry to keep you waiting. I'll start. Um, I'm gonna go into the timer. Uh, the the battle battle thing. Yeah. Him and Gohan go in there, and I put the wear back. Oh. And when they come out, it's like in ruins. That looks like a lot of characters. <laughs> Share your energy with me. This is the point. No. Don't predatorily monetize it. Great fighter six. That's already out. That's probably gonna be the next update. They've already announced the next like line of this DLC characters. Fun. Him, Harry Bogard from Fatal Fury. Okay. Traveling to new places. Also, a Smash character now. New things, oh, new yeah, yeah. Having good fun. Are you okay? Fight, drink, eat, sleep, repeat. Seriously, it's a good life. I'll pick up. I don't think been voiced in English. Well, he's, yeah, he's in the King of Fighters. Come on, get ready. It's always interesting to see characters that are from other fighting games show up in, like, a fighting game that has, like, my new differences in the way it plays. Yeah. Like, you can tell from the way he's animated in those fights that generally he's not a Street Fighter character anymore. Nope. His um his attack seem to be like just by watching it instead of playing more a lot. You can see that like Oh that's just another pass, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna say the finger fight. Because there's 14 Fatal Fight games, and Fatal Fury games before that were a couple of years. As well as I think there's a spin-off called Garou Mark and Wolves that I could be wrong, I could take the Fury's thing. Yeah. So like, you can tell like, his attacks are more like, horizontal or vertical, they're more in lines, you know, than like, do Street Fighter stuff. Maybe that's wrong. <laughs> Well, like, you can see he was attacking straight up instead of, like, a little step forward. It's gonna be a good way to, like, mix up the way Street Fighter 6 meta works. So by all means, like, go ahead. Yeah, there you go. Mai from King of Fighters as well. Um, Elena's got... M. Bison was another one. Remastering Goat Simulator. Okay, whatever you say again. Arthas? I don't know what's going on in this trailer. I don't understand <laughs> this game. It's a little game sandbox. You can put that down if you want. That's good. Stop! Case in point. Step for elite. Okay. Mm -hmm. I hope you take a look at the life in your hands and soul. I think that's in us all, isn't it? 
if it was, you know, a boss battle video game, apparently. Yeah. So, the way I hear it, this is a boss rush video game that plays like a Souls-like, kind of. That doesn't look like that. So, I don't know. I'm interested, but, like, I don't think I'm as hyped as everybody seems to I ain't sure to the West. If they do them properly, yeah, it'll be like, bring a power to you. It looks like they tried really hard, because look how much she's transforming. Yeah. No, that's just straight out of them. Hell's a bug. Hell's paradise. Oh, sorry. If anything, it looks very flashy, which is pretty much what you want to be. Yeah. From what I hear, the gameplay isn't bad. Nice. No, if this is done properly, the last fights are going to be absolutely bonkers. <laughs> Excuse me if today's sermon. No more room in hell is a zombie apocalypse. So. A zombie ground fighter. Infinity Nikki, that's for you. Yeah! Yeah, I didn't make it into beta. Yeah, I didn't make it into beta. I'm saying nothing that's a little Nikki. I don't know, right? Well, like, I played Love Nikki and I started playing Shiny Nikki, and Shiny Nikki is completely different from Love Nikki. Like, like the only thing similar is even the competition. That's really different. Oh my god, it's so... It's so... Yeah. I'd still play it. Well, that would. What? It'd be a good clumsy game. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad, it just looks very exactly what it is. Bad fashion decision? <laughs> no, the end of the world. So, like, in the first one, apparently, like, I never got to the end, but the second game actually talks about it. How the world ended, and then Nikki went back in time. And now there's these gods who, uh, who are helping Nikki go oh, back God. over and over again. And then when you get shiny, Nikki. Honestly, Swan. Don't know I'm that glad, well. but slightly surprised that you showed up tonight. Life is strange, one of them. When I saw your text, all these memories came flooding back. No, at least the harmony of the spirit. Hey! Harmony, whatever. She actually showed. Welcome! I remembered Nora. Her energy. Shit! Where's my fucking pick? Hey, watch your mouth! This one's her favorite. <laughs> I remembered you. Nice one, Autumn. You were the coolest. Skateboarder's wisdom. This looks like Never it's gonna be an emotional on your wrist. Yeah. I wanna see you skateboard on him. I remembered Kat. Whoa, watch out! She was like a firecracker. Ah, Which is exactly what this Don't Nod does serious. all the time. We're gonna need yeah. a real band name. How about Bloom 
and rage. How could I forget? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what they what games they made, but I know for a fact. Oh, oh no. What is this? My mom found a package on her doorstep. Wait. Ghosts? Are Bloomin' Rage? Bloomin' Rage? We haven't heard anything oh, for yeah. 27 years. Tape 1 and 2. Path of Exile 2. Yeah. Oh. I know this. This is a Diablo-like. Usually free to play. Um, but I didn't play much of the first The new Dune game. Finally, we've got some gameplay. Awaken. I don't Sculpt remember any. Choose your background. You are a forgiving son. I don't remember if this Ravaged is an MMO or if it's just like survive. A... Welcome to Iraq. Befriend. This case. The the thing about Dune, right? Still suit. For your help, I know nothing taking about down it. It is the sci-fi thing with that preceded always increase your chance Star Wars. Alive. It was Star Wars before Star the Wars. Base. Okay. Climb to a vantage point. But lead the charge into battle and take them out. One it's by important. one. Take <laughs> to build Refine craft and you locate your one deal. Wait, isn't it being made popular? Because yeah, they're making new movies now because the, the two times they attempted the movies prior, Arrakis. they did not have the technology Map to do the and things that they wanted to do. Stations. Yeah. Such for seeking and what straight boy here are polyed. Like the old one, the, the one I saw has Patrick Stewart in it. Wow. You have my undivided attention. Oh, man. These games are horrifying in such a good way. <laughs> I thought it was a bit rad. So similar. Or by the same people. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Remember how I was saying Fatal Fury? Yeah. <laughs> Want a little taste of Shiranui fire? Dude, what? <laughs> They're making a new Fatal Fury game? Yeah. But they gave her actual clothes. No, not that. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, Kudoichi outfit. Um, my Shirinui is the character that they didn't put City of the Wolves. Oh, okay, so Garu Mark of the Wolves is in fact a spin-off. Uh, but yeah. So, my Shirinui is the character that, um... Yeah, yeah, they're putting him everywhere. I don't care. Go whitewash another African god or something. Among the stars, what of an empire? Oh, Winter Soldier, let's go! Uh, see, I knew they were gonna bring Cap. <laughs> Civ 7? Can we just do Civ 6? No. It's been out for a while. 
the other point. Oh yeah, I was trying to say, my share is the character that um, they didn't put in the Smash stage because, quote unquote, Super Smash Brothers is a game is a game for good, good boys, boys and girls. Concluded a very planned Kingdom Come game. They're making a third one anyway. <laughs> what do you mean? By Supermassive? So they sold the title so that way they could work on a new one? No, I don't. I think it's just that Supermassive might have been the publisher, but Supermassive is the one who made um, Until Dawn. Oh. I'm gonna play the crap out of this game. <laughs> the first two are so good. It's so terrible. And the lore is fascinating. Are they playing you play co-op? Or do you have an NBC ally again? It'd be cool if you could get co-op like, uh... Like, uh, the, 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 the puppet game that we played. Two, two. Oh. Alright, it takes two? It takes two, yeah. Uh, but that, that requires co-op. It'd be nice if they had an option for you to be able to do that. These characters are so different than like the previous two. Mm. Like in Little Nightmares 1, you play as like a girl in a raincoat or a person in a raincoat. Okay. In Little Nightmares 2, you play a dude in like a blue coat. And you can change your hat. He's got, he's got a bag or a box on his head. I'm gonna struggle to I wait. don't care about Batman Arkham Shadow because it's VR only. Inzoi? It's fine enough. <laughs> 30 minutes ago. What is this? Is it just Sims, but like. <laughs> oh, I think I've heard of this. It's supposed to be. Uh, it's, it's another version. It's somebody else's version of this, but like, giving everyone. I think. <laughs> Someone else making Sims because Sims keeps poop in the bed. They're making Sims 5. They've officially announced it. They haven't even fixed Sims 4. <laughs> <laughs> the stove was on fire. Definitely Sims. Ah, they got cars? So much better. <laughs> it doesn't matter, you can't drive in the Sims, you just click places. <laughs> Sims 3, we had cars and you could like. I don't! Wait. Like. What was that? Yeah. It drove, like, we, you just clicked places and you went there. Why is the alien here? <laughs> um, questions aside, I don't care. It's just going to be an expansion of Diablo 4, and I don't play Diablo 4 because I don't support Blizzard. Oh! But then they took the cars out in Sims 4 and never put it back, it and everybody's been upset about it. And they're like, we just went and drove around in our cars! I'm never gonna play this. <laughs> Already? Well, I'd like more, but the ball is basically empty. I love you, sweetheart. I could years, do things with popcorn today. I faced unrelenting fury. Made countless. Look at him! Result of my devotion. Was betrayal. I don't remember why you like this again. Because Dungeon Fighter Online is a game I played a long, long time. Right. It just suffers from being a Nexon game. Yeah. Unfortunately, this looks like it's going to be a Nexon game. <laughs> so you're meant to die. It seems like a Souls like. We'll pay for this. Join me, Blade Phantom. Then I will help you. I think he's just covered in blood and blood. Also, he's just fucking white. 
Kaza on the first Berserker. And Berserker has a class in Dungeon Fighter Online, or a subclass for. So I assume Kazan is the demon in the back. Uh -huh. Because um, the way that it works in DFO is that a slayer is a person who somehow got cursed with the demon Kazan and their influence is usually tied to one of their arms so they put a chain on it that seals Kazan in that arm and they're usually pretty brutal fighters and they can kind of tap into that demonic strength to fight it's part of their skill set right so lore wise that's how that works a berserker is someone who breaks the chain and lets Kazan take over permanently which comes with a, a, an extra side of, like, bloodthirst and violence. Okay. Now, do the game, do the game, do the game. Yeah, I'm trying to get all this <laughs> stuff off me. All right. I'm going to go back to Pyre. Yeah. Oh, oh man, but Ada. What? You got to do the tier list. <laughs> now? No. I was going to make you do it first, but we... At the time, I didn't have to do this, so. There we go. Um. And. Babooey. It never left! Oh, let's hope that's the right fight. Yep, because if not, we're redoing stuff. <laughs> so, oh, it didn't turn on. The... Oh, I didn't turn on the light. The light hasn't been on this entire time. The accusers. This is the right file. So, uh, a quick catch up on those who haven't played Pyre, uh, because it's not on the YouTube channel either. If you need, you go digging back. Uh, Pyre is a video game. It's a visual novel. That's because we played it briefly on my stream. I can give you this for now, if you want. Oh. Um, until we get to actually fighting or playing. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, you get to make the decisions from a dialogue perspective anyway. Mm, yeah. <laughs> this is different. <laughs> Even when we did it on my extra life. Yeah. <laughs> Something to keep you awake, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Tease no, You should go get the Tezos. Tezos is the best character. You should go get the Tezos. Oh, yeah, we released her to Yeah. So, T so, so, okay, okay, okay. A little primer. So, Pyre <laughs> is a game where uh, you start off and you're something called a reader, uh, which is someone who can read. Um, but not just, like, read books and read writing, but read people. Um, it's, it's why we can understand what Tezo here is saying, because he does not speak the common language. Mm -hmm. um, and it takes place in a world called... The Commonwealth? Yes. Except the game itself does not take place in the Commonwealth. The game takes place in what is called the Downside. And it's a thinly veiled uh, allegory for um, <laughs> Christian slash Catholic hell, in my opinion. Yes, I'm a big fan of Supergiant in general. It's a Supergiant game, by the way, folks, in case y'all didn't notice. Uh, and I love Supergiant games. <laughs> Upstairs, probably. Or you might still be on the treadmill. <laughs> I'm a big enough fan that uh, one time we did a Secret Santa and I said anything from Supergiant. Uh, and then this person got me a, a, a stuff he already had. And I just love this character. So, to give it, okay, sorry. Uh, so, as a reader, you end up in the downside. Because in the Commonwealth, it is illegal to read. I don't know. Come back to stream, Ada. Maybe he's just hiding. Tizo. <laughs> oh, I have to pump up the brightness too. 
The other thing that we could do is we could uh, pump up the brightness above us. No, this is fine. I think. Well, it's less shady. So, so yeah. As a reader, it's illegal to read uh, in the Commonwealth, and the Commonwealth gets rid of all their criminals the same way. They do not have death penalties or prison. They have the downside. So when you break the law, you get sent to the downside. Yes. Where we end up, it's a wasteland. It's like, like I said, it's pretty much just Christian hell, hell, except it's just a big area, right? But all seven circles kind of exist on the same place if you go by the Inferno uh, model, which we don't really. Um, and besides a bunch of other lores, you also have a bunch of other species and races, but making it as quick as possible, you're picked up very quickly by a caravan of people who call themselves the Nightwings, and they tell you that there's a way to get out of the downside, and that their leader has a plan, and all they needed was a reader, because they have nobody to read the Book of Rights, which is that shiny book right there. Uh, Volfred is the leader in question. A safe travels to you, Jodariel. The rest of us await the day of our reunion on the other side. Anyways, go ahead, keep going. So the night, the Nightwings, are a group uh, uh, of people who participate in the rights, which is a competition where people can, essentially, win, win, win until they get to the top of a mountain that connects them back to the Commonwealth and get redeemed. Uh, in the right of liberation is what it's called, mm -hmm. and we've recently learned that the people who get liberated generally get ascended to nobility in the commonwealth yeah and they're not they can't be thrown back down unless they sin again <laughs> no no they made a point of saying like they're in a position of power where they can't yeah usually but you have the ability to decline it yes uh which at least two of our members have done yeah um so the game yeah the gameplay loop itself revolves around you doing story beats participating in 3v3 wizard basketball. Um, I suck at the game, so he does the gameplay for me, and I just enjoy the game and make decisions. Yeah, so the rest of it is a visual novel type thing. Uh, with very interesting, like, I like the dialogue. The Supergiant are fantastic at writing stories. When I say that they had, like, just a beat where, like, it was just music that's happening, and, like, we just stopped playing all together. Mm, man, everything I talk happened. about that a lot because of how good the game is, and I'm like... People don't understand, like, we're gamers. <laughs> we usually keep going to have the music make us stop playing. Well, I think the powerful thing about that scene is that it's diegetic. So, like, for most of yeah. the game, you're hearing this kind of music, background music, you hear in the background, right? Mm -hmm. But when they did that scene, it's the first time you hear sang, like, lyrics except for a liberation, right? Yep. And it's in a language you can understand. Yep. <laughs> um, and yeah, so it's like they they told they tell the bard character like start singing and he's like, huh, oh, okay, and he starts singing and you hear it in the background because the super giant loves to do diegetic audio. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. I was so spectacle when like he talked about it and he talked about it and he talked about it. And I'm like, okay, show me the game. Let me let me see what this game is all about. I'm like, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not. So I start playing. But I'm struggling with the combat, so I decided to play on my own. I can't do the basketball <laughs> game, the 303. So I went, hey, can you help me out with this? And he's like, what, you're playing it? Oh, so good. Yeah. Okay, yeah, sure, I'll help you out. And then we just kind of fell into a rhythm for it. I'm just so mad. This is like the lowest rated game amongst all of Super Giants video games. And I'm like, why? <laughs> <laughs> it is so good. We have but a few such liberation rights remaining. Exactly how many, I do not wish to speculate about as yet, until such time as we can better say for certain. Oh, we also learned that the narrator, who is now mad at us, also is in the Commonwealth. Uh, he's not the narrator, he's the, um... He's essentially the officiator for whenever we do, like, rights. He's the, the announcer and stuff. Yeah, he's the announcer. He's mad at us. He liked us, and now he's mad at us. We learned that he had been... An exile, which is the people who were sent to the, the the downside, and he made his way up to. Yeah, didn't he used to be a Nightwing? He's, I think he's the Nightwing that betrayed them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Under no circumstances would I suggest this is ideal. However, it is opportunity enough that our plan may as yet succeed. So our percentage goes up every time we do a liberation, right? Yeah. Although all of these setbacks, I fear. 
Volfer trails off and falls silent. Some of the others exchange looks. They're beginning to understand. The square can make you go forward without having to. Yeah. With the right suit ending, everything which Volfred has sought both on his own for many years and now with all of you, all of it may have been in vain. The hush spreads to the others. But not to you. You then proceed to do something that none of them seem to expect. You raise your voice. Each of your fellow exiles turn to you. Their expressions asking you a question with no easy answer. What are we going to do? As you meet... Tizo's gaze, the words for the occasion begin to crystallize in your mind. You are searching to find the right words, as all your fellow exiles are looking to you now. Uh, you can change that. You will tell them that you have stood together time after time throughout this quest, and are now poised to seize upon a glorious opportunity. I think only a hollow fool would turn back now. You can also change the first bit, yeah. Because you know each other well. As that would be great disservice to the group. Tell them you struggle to come far across the dark side of too many challenges which you face. Only to reach a sole point of enjoyment. I like that. It's clear now that not all of you are going to return. Surely this has weighed heavily on everyone. We could change that. Too. You could have changed that too. You can change Whoa. all of this. You can change Whoa. all of this. <laughs> but something far more vital is at stake. You see the imminent conclusion of the rites as a sign. It is a sign that the world is changing. That's the bard, Tarek. Yeah. Yeah, so essentially, while well, Ada picks her dialogue here, um, when you get to the Liberation Rites, we learn over time that the, the Nightwings are supposed to be those of those that other teams compete to see if they can get liberated. And in continuously, the Nightwings winning and releasing themselves, the Rites themselves are coming to a complete end. A lot of Pyre's lore is held in the stars. It's constellations and things like that that guide your characters. Which is just another, like, really cool aspect of the game. I like this one. I'm not a fan of the last lines. Glory awaits if you can persevere together. Not yet. Let's go with that. Let's stand poised to ensure the world will not be behind. Only be home for your loved ones. Now is the time to stand and fight the forces. Yeah, and Wolfred's plan is essentially a way to end the concept of the downside because the world is supposed to be based off mercy and kindship and kinship. Yeah. But, like, tossing people in the downside? Not good. Bad. Just unequivocally bad. It's a literal hellscape. And if you stay there too long, you turn into a literal demon. After a brief period of reflection, you share one last sentiment with the group. Uh, F. What just fell? A bottle. <laughs> Which bottle? The black one. Mere distance cannot separate our spirits. The stars have not vanished. They have joined us. Let us bring about harmony and vision by the eight <laughs> The stars may have not vanished, they have joined us, is a strong statement. Powerful. Now and always. Yeah. I like <laughs> that one. And, like, it's very clearly um, said that the Nightwings are kind of, like, reflections of those, the scribes, the, those, like, original nine characters that created the Commonwealth in the way it was initially idealized. Yeah. 
Thus do you remain together with your thoughts. No one speaks for a time, but then... You see, you see them too, miss. Uh, too then, miss. The scribes among the stars and how they're watching over us. Thou wouldst dare to change this ancient world reading one. And yet, thy words are tinged with certain truths. I love Bertram. Skriha! Bitches. Tizo vows to stand with you no matter where your quest shall lead. May long the stars remain a light for you, reader, madam. All the while, Volfred remains watching you intently. Then his expression softens and he smiles. You are right, of course, my girl. We are the Nightwings. It is precisely as you said. The stars have not vanished. They have joined us. <laughs> <laughs> Lead us then, reader, to the end of our quest and the dawn of the new age for all our kids. Everyone, for the Nightwings. Everyone responds in kind. And they stand with you no matter what. They await the outcome of your vision with other stars, which burn with renewed fury, because now the last rites beckon. Each of the night wings gain plus one hope permanently. The stars have joined us. I love that they made that like the thing. Oh yes, good. The stars above now burn with what appears a desperate fury, many more of them than usual. Your path is yours to choose amid a myriad of stars. Alrighty. How but the midnight star. No, nope, you get to choose who we're gonna go against next. But 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 Oh, okay. Every single star is going to light up, by the way. <laughs> Whoa! I'm pretty sure we're on the last go around, by the way. The stars of the eight scribes, they shine together now as one. The lone minstrel draws a breath as though surprised by what he sees. He backs away and averts his eyes. This is another sign the rites are soon to cease. Few chances yet remain to confront the adversaries you have met during your journey. By the way, the guy who plays Tarek also plays Zagreus. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, so favor, record, head. Right, notes. so their favor goes to zero when you beat them. Outside okay. of a right of liberation. Oh, we beat these guys outside of a... Yeah, you didn't want to fight them in the liberation rights because you hate um, that nerd's face. Blech. I don't remember why I didn't fight this guy. Okay. Who are these guys again? The worms. Those are the worms, yeah. The ones that uh, Gilman was in first. Okay. The fates are the uh, the old guy. Okay. That's the witches that pray to the titan. The dissidents are the curs, the, the, the dogs. Uh, that's Tamitha. And then they will be... Oh, they're led by Ignarius, the demon. Right, so the next liberation, two liberation rights conducted for, we don't know how many are left. Yeah. But I can tell you right now, we can figure it out if you look at how many characters are in our team. Mm. Well, we have Faye, Tizo, Floyd, Witch. Wolverine, you meant Yeah. And Pam. Do we still have Pam? The, uh... I think so. No! Can I look at our party? I don't think so. I'm not sure who to... F like, should we fight the guys that are directly underneath us? It's... If you... It depends who you want to put... Like, who do you want to play against? At the Liberation Rights. Do you want to liberate anybody of their team? Or do you just want to liberate our characters? I'm gonna mind liberating the old guy, but at the same time, wait, which old guy is it? this guy? Yeah, we've only got, I think, two liberation rights left. I really want to liberate Faye and Pam. Okay, so if it's just our characters, um, doesn't matter who you play against. Okay. Uh, that is. You are not permitted to conduct her right there. Okay. So that's that guy. That's the guys we just beat. <laughs> uh, ugh. That's Cam. Mm -hmm. 
Let's go for Tam. You want to get Tam out? No, you know what? I want this guy to go away. <laughs> He's already at favor zero. <laughs> go ahead. I mean, I don't mind bullying him. He's a jerk. Very well then, Rita. Once you more, you shall face madly in the chastity when next the stars align. We may set course for the Hulk of Ors at dawn. Oris, by for now. Please get some rest in the remaining dark of night. Okay. There's something stuck in between my teeth. Probably popcorn. Um. Where do I see my party again? Uh, the window. The window. Okay, yeah. yeah, so We've one. only got two left. So my guess is it's supposed to be like there's three of us that remain behind no matter what. Or four of us that remain behind. Correct? Oh, we've been bleeding. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, he wants to be released, doesn't he? Oh, he said he didn't want to be released just yet. Oh, okay. Well, she could care less. The way that I'm basing it off of is the fact that like you can't conduct the rights with less than three playable characters. That's right. Yeah. So wouldn't you have three left then? Oh uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. I think you're right. Okay. After the liberation of Jadariel, you find the lone minstrel back in the wagon, looking as though no such thing had just occurred this night. Do you think you see him tilt his head as you approach? Some words of congratulations are in order for this evening, I should think, Rita, and so, congratulations on prevailing in the liberation rite. Surely Jadariel shall be most grateful, and her safe return unto your commonwealth ought to benefit the plan in which you all now play part. As for your adversaries of the accusers, this might have been a better loss for them in Lendl. Although they must have known their chance was far from certain. Thus shall we await the next turn of the cycle of the rites. Celeste and I are to return to our respective duties for the time now. As now, uh, for the time as now, Scribe's Gate is sealed. I await when next we shall meet. When next you may live up to the glory of the Nightwings in the eyes of the eight scribes. Which yet shine down for us. Trails off then nods to you in his cordial manner and bids you a good rest of the evening. Of course, this updated. Downside dining. In the words of Jor Jomur Menimain, the Alpha Chief. You can make the writing cleaner. Yeah. How to sustain oneself with food and drink in such a place as this? The less said of it, the better. Do not complain, observe, and above all, keep moving. Sources of sustenance avail themselves to those with keener sense in a warmer climate. Such search the ground at day, break of day for subterraneans. In colder places, dig for them. Give them purpose. Drinking pools are rare, but moisture and abundance outside of the sand folds. Some is poisonous. Take only what you need. The downside limits any opportunities for excess, but it provides enough amenities to meet the needs of life. One who withstands it cannot help but feel a sense of gratitude. Oh, no, I got the wrong way. Downsize diseases. Ailments in the downside often give no warning when they strike. Those who keep moving and make no attempt to settle, they reduce their risks. The afflictions come in multiple varieties. In the bogs of flagging hands, a pallor tends to sink into the skin and then into the mind. The nauseating sea of solace north of there is difficult for some to tolerate. Very hot or very cold environs bring their own specific side effects. My coat is not as lustrous now. My fangs are long. Like all aspects of the downside, all these ailments share a purpose to test your body, mind, and spirit. They only appear to harm. Accept them. Surpass them. Move on. So, Joe Moore Mary Many Mains is the first cur to ever make it to the downside, like the dog guys. Yeah. The Accusers. The Accusers formed under Golathanian. He is a big man. He values justice, loyalty, steadfastness. Golathanian, he says that the Accusers take their name from one of his most accomplished legions. This is by Halb the Swallow, who is the original in imp to join them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, Golathanian says that the Accusers take their name from one of his most accomplished legions from his former military days. All among them, in fact, served the Master General at one time. They represent the stoutest heart of people of the Empire who held true to Mur and Golathanian to the end. 
The golden colors of their raiments are reminiscent of their own shining armor, is his claim. Ever, ever shall they seek out those with truest spirits and strongest sense of purpose to replenish their ranks. And we get to see how badly they've fallen from like their original inception thanks to the book. Yeah. Uh, Triesta is the harpy, I believe. The harpy? Mm-hmm. Okay. The fallen empire of Sar was ruled according to an ancient bloodline thought to be infallible. Our society shall instead be by those who earn the privilege. We the eight, we cannot bear the burden of determining your worth. It shall be determined by your peers and by you, yourself. We shall provide a framing through the rights to put you to the test against yourselves, against your kin, against your adversaries. The downside cannot let us all go free, thus freedom to the worthy. As the worthy, your true calling then begins, as you return to a society which longs to learn the wisdom you have gained along your path. The worthy shall lead. So the concept was that, like the initial concept was... If you get sent to the downside, you're essentially going on a pilgrimage to redeem yourself. Yeah. And it looks like the Commonwealth stopped following that thought process as time goes on. And, like, still makes you... Because their rules as written say you need to have, like, an honorable position as someone who's ascended from the dark side. At uh, the downside. <laughs> Can't you send it off screen? I didn't mean to! <laughs> I was trying to send it this way. Well, it looks like we're done in the... Mm, okay. There's no time now to return to Moonlight Alcove as before, as the stars already urge you on. Everyone is ready to make haste for the Hulk of Wars. Why is it shiny? You get to have a little, like, blurb if you go onto that spot. Wolford approaches you as you fly above his hidden lair in the moonlight alcove. You cannot help but wonder if you shall ever return there. My dear alcove, I have asked my agents to break down the place. It soon shall be gone. If it isn't already, we shall not be returning. We've not the time to do so anyway, and with Oralek back among the living now, and no longer fond of me, I dare not think what he would do with it. Did he go back? Huh? Did we send him back? Nope. Unfortunately, hiding places are of little value once they're found. He wasn't in the liberation rights. Oh, right. Once all of this is over, those of us who do not manage to return, we shall have to find another place to live. To try to live, at least. No, he was, um, he was believed dead because the last time the Nightwings participated in the liberation right before you arrived. Right. Um, the other guy took his place. Fine. You get a trophy for bumming into ten of them. How dare you, you Nightwing scum! You blasted fools, you cannot intimidate the accusers. We shall face you soon enough in a forthcoming right, but first, we have another pack of fools whom we must vanquish so shortly. Until then, stay out of the way. Look at that imp just partying. Hey, what's the big idea, huh? Ah, uh, it's you Nightwings coming to rub it in again, I guess. We tempers, we've been trading flames with you who knows how long. So what, you got us once or twice lately. Matter of time before we go and got you back. You might want to keep that in mind next time you go messing with these horns, hear me? His horns are broken. Like, get out of my sky. I actually did not mean to bump into him. <laughs> Wait, where am I going? Any one of those locations will give you a bonus. Okay. Manly. Panda. You might get to fish. Where? Here or the other one? Ah, uh, Pamatha. Pamatha? But the other one's gonna give you a blessing. I think I'll take the blessing. Find Faye gazing down into the depths. The water is so very beautiful, and yet it's very dangerous. They always said it's very dangerous. If you fall in or drink enough of it. But the scribes, they have protected us. They're watching. I just know. 
even out here in the waters of the underking oars. They urge oars? Oars. Yeah. Oars. They urge us on. I feel it. I just know. There's no denying that the North Corn sends you quickly on your way. Perhaps it is the thought of reaching land again, but you can sense the spring in every step. Yay, yeah, witness. Location time. <gasps> it's back. <laughs> you observe the masks and robes whose old engraving is in the embroidery is just a formal purpose. Some of the garments are massive, while others are so small they might fit a child. Faye seems to be speaking to herself again. She's unaware of your presence, or shows no sign of it, at least. Mercy, freedom, they are, inter they are intertwined. Mercy shall en engender. engender union among all our different kind. Mercy shall engender a union among all our different kind. She is reciting passages from the Book of Rights, though, to your knowledge, she cannot read. Freedom to the worthy. The downside cannot let us all go. Thus, freedom to the worthy. Is that so, O Saint Tr Triesta? Triesta. Triesta. Is that not the conclusion which you formed with your seven most trusted friends? She pauses for a while as though listening and nods her head from time to time. Yes, I see, I see. I see. Well, I'm ever grateful to you, Saint Teresa. For your guidance and your presence, and I wish all your friends safe passage among there among the stars. It must be so very beautiful out there. With your wings, you can fly fear, fear, freely, can't you, Saint? You can visit me any time. Come and go as you please from the stars all the way here. You do not need a pair of wings in order to be free. I know, I know, and yet sometimes I wish I was like you, or like Miss Pamatha. But I know I am the way I am because I am meant to be this way. And I know that that Is you... that the pitter-patter of tiny feet? No. That's the pitter-patter of big feet. Okay. They sound very different. That one was like, do, do. Pitter-patter of feet. I was like, do, 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 I just do, don't do, want do, him do. coming downstairs naked. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, uh, he's not naked. He's wearing underwear? Yes, and a snuggly. Okay. Uh, and I know that you are always watching, so thank you, St. Teresa the... Tithus. Tithus. Thank you. And your friends. Wouldn't it be fun if I just realized that we didn't have, like, any audio this entire time? She wanders into the afternoon, leaving you there, considering her words. In the Commonwealth, her unwavering faith in the eight scribes would have been seen as a delusion. Such prayer communion was forbidden. The scribes were mythical figures, but even they were worshipped. But even they worshipped the stars, and it was the stars that lighted the way for the founders of the Commonwealth, or so the leaders taught. It's fun how, like, technically they tell us that, like, you don't know if Faye can hear the scribes. Yeah. But, like, how else do you explain her being able to, like... <laughs> yeah. Quote the Book of Rights if she can't read. It's also wild to me. Like, Did look at the name to... of the sp the the races or the the tribes they call them. Savage. Yeah, and then it's like savage, imp, harp, sap, crone. They're not positive names. No. Uh, who should, who should we mentor? Uh, who do you want to send up? Either Faye or Pam. Who's got the least amount of XP? Between the two, um, That's Pam. Pam. But she also has... But she doesn't have any bonus right now, so not her. I'd say Pam. Why, well, certainly, reader, darling. How good of you to ask. You and Pamatha compare thoughts on how each of your fellow exiles can contribute to prevailing in the rites, and in which groups of three they may achieve their very best. It's fortunate we have someone like you to keep us all from getting at each other's throats. Yeah, because this is literally the only party where it's, like, different races. No. No? 
No. But Volfred made a point to pick one person per tribe because of how the scribes were. Maybe you see some imps and some demons and some other parties. Okay. Halt, everyone. I beg you, please forgive my rudeness here. The Black Wagon has shuttered to a stop en route to the Hulk of Wars. There is some commotion as the lone minstrel motions for everyone to be still. Steel? Still. Still. Someone is there, along our path ahead. He points into the distance. However, when you scan the horizon, everything is still. You can see no sign of whomever the lone minstrel refers to. Still, he indicates caution. Strange, I do not believe I was mistaken. A tense moment passes, then another. Then the lone minstrel tenses up. Our guest, he is there. You look towards where he signals, and then at last you see the cause of his concern. <laughs> there is no mistaking who it is. Aurelek stands there, near motionless, atop some forgotten rock jutting from the sprawling waters a fair distance away. He stands directly on the path of your black wagon. Is he going to join our group? We already had a demon. Yeah. Yet, he shows no sign of acknowledging the wagon's presence. He appears only to be waiting for something. Likely for you all. The lone minstrel gets your attention, quietly. Rita, what do your senses tell you at this time? Aurelek may have come with ill intent. <clears throat> this song is called Will of the Scribes, and it is the one they use for all the trailers. And it definitely hooked me onto the game before I played the game. <laughs> there has to be a way to reason with Orlek and bridging differences between him and his former triumvirate. Perhaps he has come to negotiate. Perhaps you are correct. Let us try and make contact with him then as we proceed. You give the signal for the drive imps to start the wagon and head toward him. But just as you reach the point where Orlek once stood, it seems our guest has already departed. Let us remain watchful as we proceed on course. Indeed, Orlek is nowhere to be found now. The unnerving encounter causes everyone to fall silent for the remainder of the trip. I don't know why, but like, right here on my foot has been acting up recently. Your wagon finally arrives at the Hulk of Oris, where still there's no sign of Orlek, or your next adversaries for that matter. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Just pain. Yeah. Well, like sometimes it's like a sharp nerve ending pain. Your companions organize a quick search about the premises, leaving you to watch the wagon until the rites until the rites commencement. Hey, you guys, where's your friend? You know the big one with the horns, like frowning stuff like that. Something happened here or what? Heard a crazy story. She just flew out on here, out of here, or something. Anyways. Thanks, dog. Good talk, I guess. I don't want to buy any of these. Oh, this could get... Mm, what's this? doesn't there's have anything like, I want. There's like only one new thing, too. Cursed talisman. I've never used these. Cannot grasp the orb. <laughs> Tragic. Bottled void. I don't want any of this. Where's the upgrade stuff? I don't think. You hear that void? You've been bottled. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> yeah, I don't want any of this. You okay. can't upgrade anything, so. Okay, well, see you guys. Hi. Something's wrong. Someone is here alone with you. Orlek seems to be examining various objects in the wagon. Whether he has noticed you, uh, you cannot tell. What he is doing here and how he got in unnoticed, you cannot imagine. I mean, he used to use the wagon, right? You watch him go about whatever he's yeah. doing, examining all sorts of things that you and your fellow exiles gathered on your journey. He shakes his head. All of these trinkets, this wagon, it is most different now. Welcoming, and yet, I am unwelcoming here, it seems. In my own wagon. He directs his gaze at you, acknowledging your presence for the first time. You, a mere shadow. Tell me something. Who are you to them? Mm -hmm. 
You tell Orlek that you have traveled all across the downside with this group and count them as your trusted friends. It is a different group now than in his day. A friend, is it? Beware then, for the Nightwings do not always treat their friends with all due charity. Relay to them a message for me, Shadow. Tell them I shall have my night. He strides right past you towards the door, but then he turns to you again once more. I shall have my night. Then Orlek is gone. Can you imagine coming here, seeing this? Like, he used to live in here. Yeah. Several of your companions return as you exit the wagon. You explain what happened. However, none of them saw Orlek. Most concerning, reader, though I am thankful you are right. You are well. Orlek, he has always been... He always was a peaceful individual, and yet his disposition is much different now. I think he's a ghost. I don't, they knew him before he was a demon. So he turned to a demon? We know that if you stay in the downside enough as one of the, the human characters, mm. you become a demon. That's what would have happened to Jadariel. She's the oldest of the group oh. other than maybe Volfred. Right. Perhaps we had best inspect the wagons for any signs of tampering in light of these events. Can I see my phone real quick? Your phone? Yeah, I didn't even realize it was down here. I thought it was still upstairs. You and the others conduct an exhaustive search in the round black wagon for any signs of objects missing or tampered with, as well as signs of damage or foul play. The search yields nothing. No one finds any sign that anything was moved or tampered with. Even the drive imps seem calm. The incident leaves you questioning your own recollection of what happened. You try to clear your mind, for the right is soon to commence. Hey, you shush. I did shush. <laughs> Talking to myself. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Everything is prepared and the night is beginning to take hold of above the boundless waters of the Hulk of Oris while Wolfred gets your attention. Reader, I suppose you might remember our first meeting with that manly Tinderstaff. He would be mortified, of course, if you forgot. I would say that he is an embarrassment to my kind, but unfortunately I've known many others like him. We are a discontented people, I suppose. Anyway, when last we saw him, you might recall that I avoided him. We are not good acquaintances or anything, but he knows enough people in high places that he could be harmful to our plan, should he know of my involvement. And so... Volfred dons his ritual mask. I shall have to be discreet here, as I am with the Nightwings once again. I can no longer hide from him outright. Perhaps, though, he shall take me for a common sap. Anyhow, it seems to me we have a right to conduct. Well, Faye and Pam need to be participating as usual. I'm not going to activate any of these too much. Yeah, that's fine. Last time we activated them, they killed us. East lock is so worse, too. Like, ah! This is new. Star of the Sky Titan once routed by the eight scribes in flagging hands. This is Time Singer Harn. The designs are so cool, I wish we could actually see them like fully, but we can't. We just see their corpses! You should get a tattoo of one of them. Oh man, I'm so down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd get the if I get any tattoo, I'd get this one. <laughs> yeah, I'd be down for seeing that. Yo, the delivery guy today, he saw my tattoo, and he's like, I wanted to say your tattoo's really cool, where'd you get it? So I told him where to get it. <laughs> I don't like them. <laughs> Oh, I, I don't. I do not movie. like this map. <laughs> it's diagonal. My my, what have we here? Why the Nightwings come to grace us with their presence once again? Are you perhaps intent upon humiliating us even more after last time? You sense Volfred reaching out to you. Reader, let us indulge him for the time. Perhaps he shall reveal something we can use to provide a disincentive for his meddling. Just let him keep on talking. I shall attempt attempt to remain hidden. And my, the colors of those raiments, I mean, they are rather gaudy in this light, I have to say, though I meant no offense of this, of course. He just, no, oh, I hate him. <laughs> I hate him so much! So do you suppose the ride is going to commence soon? As much as I enjoy our chats like this, I do have to get going soon. If you must know why, I'm expecting an important message from the other side, no less. Come Dolan, I hear something is brewing out there, some sort of unrest. Hmm. So yes, it's a very important message sent all this way by one of those imp couriers, and I must say, those little things, their services are certainly not cheap. 
Though I'm sure that I could get you a good deal on those services if you perhaps wish to contact a loved one back home. All I ask of course is that you stand aside and let the chastity prevail as we all we ought. For I have a date with destiny not long from now upon the fall of Solium. Right, so he's convinced that he's going... He's convinced that he's destined to reintegrate Commonwealth. Like, he, he thinks he's going to get liberated. He's yeah. convinced of it. He continues talking for some time until at last the right is set to start. Yeah, we just ignored him. He just talked himself into a corner. Oh my my, look at this wonderful as assembly of exiles come from all different corners. Mm, such a co colorful retinue you Nightwings have. You know, I've heard the most preposterous rumor about you that you are harboring an especially notorious criminal. But it was designed upon the Commonwealth itself. He looks right of Wolfrid. But I could not imagine such outlandish tales could possibly be true. Hmm. Anyway, how I would so would like to meet everyone here. Hello, good Nightwings. I am H. Manly Tinderstauf, and truly, it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Manly is intruded on your privacy as you set to choosing your triumvirate. He could not be less welcome. He seems to be searching for someone in your ranks. Try him to back off immediately. Get off. Perhaps a broken limb or two. Oof. You warn Manly to back off immediately or there will be consequences he will not appreciate at all. He stares back, but you see something in his eyes. Why, I never! How dare you speak to me that way, you lowly, crippled, ragged little chill. I have many friends who would make your miserable life so very, very worse. Yeah, well, you're a weak sauce that if I break your nose, you're going to cry to daddy, so whatever. <laughs> oh, but this is so uncivilized. I have to say, so very disappointing. Anyway, I ought to go check on my wonderful colleagues. See you shortly, and good luck. Manly leaves at last, leaving you to focus on the right again. This guy! <laughs> Alright, ideally we put Volfred in, because, good lord, he needs to level up. No dialogue? Okay, we want Faye and Bertrand, is that who? No, Pamitha. Okay, they're both doing very good, but, okay, she's got a bit of a bonus. It's just... I know you like using Tizo, which is why I was like... Yeah, but Tizo doesn't have a bonus right now. <laughs> Insufferable sap, a blight upon. Oh, that's you. The insufferable sap, a blight upon his kind, and an adversary that we should like to pick apart. Are you quite ready yet, O oh, Nightwings? I doubt you are. Because of my colleagues of the Chastity and I, we have a trick or two we shall th we think we shall take you by surprise. Just watch. Right, he's got. See, you can see he's got a worm. Uh... Yeah. I hate him. Just... Oh, we're moving now. Okay. I hate him just as much as I hate Gilman. Gilman is so much better though. How do you? Okay, here we go. Trying to remember how to play. Yeah, it's not working well. Oh, nice. Okay, go Gertrude. Uh, Gertrude. Wait, no, I messed up. There was a person there. How do I dash? Blink. Okay, well, I've been dashing this whole time. Well, okay. That's fine, because it's easy-peasy, lemon-squeezy now. As you remember how to play. Yeah. All the rules are, like, right there, aren't they? Where's the jump button? Is it L2? There we go. Oh, pounce is square. Okay. It, oh, right, because Wolfred can't jump. He's a tree. Whoops. You keep jumping right into that circle. This is fine. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Cause they're on the pyre. Yeah. Well there's a small section that was under the bottom. Volfred Sandalwood? Why is it really you, my dear friend? You must be mistaking me for someone else, Badly. However do you mean? I'd recognize that upright posture of yours from anywhere. I knew it had to be you. Oh, what a glorious surprise indeed. Oh, it's me, all right. But you're no friend of mine, Madley. No more than I am yours. So cut your nonsense for a change. And face me like a proper sap. Oh, to have such spark left in those old limbs of yours. Well, if you want me to be rude, then fine. Let's have it your way, sir. <laughs> He's such a child. I, I can't he stand really him. Is. Okay, Bertrand. I love playing, um, what are they called? Crones? Yeah. They're so busted. <laughs> <laughs> they don't do that much damage to the fire, but... Perhaps you are worthy. Perhaps your mom gay. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Uh. I lost control of my character. <laughs> Wait, we start with Wolfred. That's because he can't move, but he can. 
Oops. No, that's the wrong button. Hello? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, Bertrude, come on! Baby girl, what? Oh, crap. Hello? Oops. <laughs> that was Pyre without being banished. Careful. We're fine. I got this. Can't touch this. Bang, no, no. There you go. Got, even got money out of it. How much HP we got left? They did 20 twice? Yeah, we got 45, they got 46. Oh, they did not do 20 twice. They did. Okay, you got this, girly pop. There we go. With no difficulty modifiers, we're fine. Yeah, as soon as the difficulty modifier gets added in... No! <laughs> Don't you dare! <laughs> They were trying to like cheese it so that I didn't have to. Oh, that's it. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what Bertrude's buff was there, but she did five more damage and that killed him. Nice. Alas. Also, you're not technically allowed to take your mask off during the. My word! How could this happen to me? You deceitful, ignorant, ugly, uncouth pack of fools! Have you any idea what you've done? Wolfred watches the outburst in silence. Keep spouting off like that, Madly, and you shall reveal all we need to know. You harbor such a fear within your heart there, don't you? Coming from the aristocracy and now in exile, how they must speak of you. What would they think of you if you don't get out, or even if you do? Wolfram remains deep in thought, studying his adversary. There, I see. I see now. Then Wolfram recedes into the shadows. What? My head? Who? Oh, uh, I believe there must be some mistake. I, I have to go. Ta-ta. Fine evening to you. Now, it's been a pleasure, generally so. Manly stumbles away in stupor. And there he goes. I've lifted certain burdens from him for the time. A bit of mercy for his sake. For my people's sake. As well, it should ensure he has no lasting memory of our encounter here. Or running into me. Now, let's be off before he catches up with us again. Yeah, Wolfred just mind magic him. gets a rank up, I think. Mm. Long did I bide my time in anticipation that one day the Nightwings would reform under a common cause. To be a part of it myself, it nourishes the spirit. And that's an upgrade for his game, so... so. After casting Sprout, Wolfred may remotely detonate his sapling in an aura burst. While Wolfred and his allies are banished, adversaries are slowed and cannot use abilities. <laughs> Maybe next level. <laughs> oh man, but I can't! <laughs> he, might, he probably won't even get there! I like this one though, you can pull up the sprite! <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. We have all the legendary ones too, right? Eh? Yeah. Please leave. Also, I believe that is Darren Korb who plays. Wolf, not Wolfred, he plays. Tarek and then. Zagreus. Okay. Back at the Black Wagon, you find the Lone Minstrel examining your fellow exiles after the defeat of Chastity in a pitched battle. It is plain to you that none of them look well. The Lone Minstrel notices you there and turns to you. Rita, the faster turning of the cycle of the rites has put a strain on everyone. We have multiple cases of banishment sickness this time. It is fortunate that your other companions are available to conduct the, uh, the coming rite because I fear that this group here requires rest. You bid Wolfred a swift recovery and he nods weakly in response. You exchange a look with Bertrude, who seems exhausted after the last raid. As for Faye, it is clear to you she wishes to be left alone right now. You leave the lone minstrel to look after them, and turn your attention to the stars that remain shining in the dark outside. Stars yet shine for you, revealing various paths forwards. Oh, so Faye doesn't have it. She didn't get banished, did she? Oh uh, yeah, she did, but... It looks like she just doesn't... Because otherwise we'd have three characters out of five. Oh, yeah. Haub, Gol, Melissa. Bogstar. It's Tamitha again. Where Tamitha uh, sits low. Yeah, I don't think we can. We got one more right before the, the liberation right. I don't think we'll be able to do. We won't be able to get Tamitha up. 
enough to get her in a liberation right by any means. Unless she ends up winning against one of the other teams, because we don't know who they're going up against. His name is Sir Deluge! And he is what we call an annoyance. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The stars reveal to you a path toward the cairn of Halb, where the rites shall soon continue. Come morning, your travel shall continue. For now, everyone needs rest. Oh, nothing new in the... Yeah, there's nobody there, right? Well, nobody to talk to. No, no, nothing new. I thought there'd be something in the book, but... Yeah, guess not. <laughs> you kind of have to interact with new stuff to get the lore stuff. Unlocked, so. Yeah. Down. You can go faster by hitting the trigger button, by the way. <laughs> They're just chilling. <laughs> Why is that there? Hmm? Well, because that's another right area, but. Oh. Should. The forbidding cairn of how lies below. Not many exiles see fit to cross beyond it. Some fear that the listless remains of Shaq's six shoulders shall snatch up, uh, the, snatch them up if they attempt to cross. Others simply do not want to, to pass through with flagging hands. Which is the next area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Few know its true significance as we do, although your adversaries, the Pyre Heart, should be on their way there now. Soon you shall confront them once again. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Teasel likes this route. <laughs> Uh, deeper understanding of the right, so she'll probably get XP from this one. Sorry, Tizo. Uh, nothing new. Oop. Having reached the Lick Sand, you decide to accompany Fay for a walk amongst the barren wastes. Your conversation soon turns to matters of the rights, which you discuss at length. Oh, miss, I think you must be right about what you said, what you just said. By the time you turn to the wagon, you sense you gained a deeper understanding of it all. <laughs> Maxed her out? Okay. Yeah. Blessed are the scribes whose eternal wisdom shines upon us through the stars and illuminates the path to our salvation. Wait, I, what did I just say? Why, that was strange, but I feel so invigorated now. Here you go. Uh, we went on the right side, so I might as well pick up him. Flings the orb faster and further. Okay. I guess we're... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh? You are nothing, Krishna. Your mom! <laughs> nothing but a mindless cripple. Wow. What's with the random ableism? You wake from that, what little sleep you managed to, uh, this past night. Once more, the voice tormented you within your dreams. You attempt to rid your memory of it. If the voice truly is that of the Archjustice Androbeles the Ninth himself, as Wolfred indicated, then none of you are likely to receive too warm a welcome should you regain your freedom. Oh no, it's not the guy that betrayed Wolfred, it's just the name of the, uh, the dude. Yeah. And that's the rights. Yeah, so, like, at this point, the game goes, like, at lightning speed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here in the barren wastes of Jomor Valley, you encounter a messenger imp come to deliver news and rumors from the other side. The news this time pertains to Jodariel, whom you liberated at the fall of Solium. You learn Jodariel's past transgressions have all been forgiven. She soon was to be reinstated on the blood border, on the presumption that she wanted her old status back. In fact, she was offered an especially prestigious leadership position in the First Vale, for a demon such as she could not be, be seen in the streets. Uh, elite platoon, shrouded in secrecy other than the famous results of its operations. But she refused the gesture. Rather bluntly, the report suggests. <laughs> Instead, she sought Volfer's agents, as well as several of her former fostered sons and daughters, and so the ranks of the revolution grow stronger. The last part of the messenger imp's news must, be, uh, must have been damaged in transit, though it appears to be in Jodario's own words. All you can tell is that it says, await. So I await your arrival, probably. Yeah. You thank the messenger imp for relaying this information. Your companions are excited to discuss the news. Tizo was fired up about the news of Judariel's return to the Commonwealth. Can Tizo go to the Commonwealth? Yes. 
If you liberate him. I ha I liberated him in my playthrough. If I have three, maybe I can liberate him. I think I liberated him? Yeah, I ended up liberating him. We can... Mm. We can envision it. A demon as she set loose within the common world. <laughs> what? Wait, I think I might not have liberated Tito, actually, because my logic was... My logic was I kept Volfrid, uh, Bertrude, and Tizo because Tizo's native to the, the downside. Yeah. Volfrid has stated he doesn't really mind. Yeah. And Bertrude has also stated that she doesn't mind. Has a crush on Volfrid. Right. <laughs> so if I end up with only three at the end, I'm probably gonna lean towards Tizo. Tizo. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't want to say that and it affecting you, your choices, but yeah, it's... No, well, like, because I... These two, I don't want to separate, and but, like, I definitely want Faye and Pamitha to go up, and, like, if I could... Like, I thought Tizo couldn't leave because he was native. No, you can send him. But if he can leave, I want him to go. Yeah, he can go. Okay. You're going to read the line? Having someone of Jadaria's will and stature with us on the other side shall pave the way toward a brighter future. Do you think she still has her horns now that she's back up there? Tch. Wonder what the rest of her message said. The news of your Dario's liberation fills you and your fellow exiles with newfound resolve. Plus one hope! Which I think means they come back faster. Shaq's six shoulders sure looks different now that they're dead. Karen of Halb. As written by Luce Glorian, who happens to be the sap. How ironic that the shattered remnants of the Bone Titan Shek's six shoulders, which once stood vigilant over the archway into flagging hands, remained now as forbidding as when that horrid monster still possessed unnatural life. After little Haub dispatched the Bone Titan in a feat of ingenuity, Shek's pieces fell onto the valley floor, forming a set of standing stones which Haub marked. Further traces of the Titan's glacial blood coagulated into perfect frozen drops, which still simmer, shimmer in the darkness. Six shoulders seems to start reanimating when the stars above him dance in a certain way. Paint the sigil, then, into the shining light. So how the imp killed this one? Hmm. No, it doesn't look like there's anything else. You got a xylophone? Xylo bones. Would that we all could become musical instruments where our bones turn to dust, and we got this from here. I don't think I remember picking those up. I like the little keepsakes everywhere. Right? Very full of personality. Hey guys, you know what I was just thinking? Maybe I should have a sale or something here sometime. But then again, my prices are as low as they can go, so I don't think I can. I just can't do it, guys. I don't care. What's he selling now? I don't care. <laughs> We're broke, too! Which you guys would have bought something, maybe. Sure thing, Ron. No. <laughs> His name is Falcon Ron. <laughs> the night grows dark over the Cairn of Howl, then you and your companions stand prepared at the appointed place at the appointed time. Wolfred and your fellow exiles exchange expectant looks, some with each other, some with you, though everyone is rather quiet now in one another's company. Well, you sense a vague concern in fate, perhaps not having to confront the pyre hearts once again. As for Tizo, he seems very much at peace, waiting for the stars to signal the commencement of the rites. He does not have to wait for very long. Instinctively, you clutch the Book of Rites as the stars above take hold of everyone's attention. Do, 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 do. I just realized that the skeleton has dreadlocks. Does it? Yeah. I think, yeah, it looked like this prior. Okay, well, it looks like it has dreadlocks now. You gonna make it harder for yourself? Well, look at it like... Adversaries each have 50% stamina. Oh, I'm sure I'm I want to get the glittery stuff out, you know? Mm. Sure, give them more HP. Biolanthius goes hard as a name, by the way. Right? <laughs> Giant scorpion bastard. Biolanthius. They got more stamina, which isn't too bad. I mean, I can outmaneuver them anyway. I don't give a flying canoodle! 
Oh, you wanted me to become the voice? Get out of here. See, look, that's Oh, they're exactly like, uh... It's exactly like... What's his name? Brooks from One Piece. The hair is so, <laughs> so powerful. Yeah. Has strong roots. Yeah, 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 your insults mean nothing to me. Oh man, we got the bouncy stuff here. I don't think we fought here before. Me neither. We should have. Your mom. Oh no, the Nightwings! He struggles with his mask for some time. Please have mercy on this night, oh Nightwings, for this night knows well of the limitless power which you most certainly possess. Then he squirms into his mask. Limitless power can only be the explanation as how you freed that, that no good Gilman. How this knight must know, how can such a thing be even possible? Inheriting the loudest, clumsiest, ugliest, most obnoxious, least competent worm ever to summon the ranks of the pie hearts and sing him to such a victory. Would that this knight could kneel, for he would kneel before your stupefying power. And by the end of the speech, you sense Sir Deluge is not entirely sincere. Even now, you hear him snickering nervously with his triumvirate. It seems news of Sir Gilman's liberation has caused quite a stir within the ranks of the Pirate Hearts. Even still, they stand together, ready for the right. Well, like, because, like, they were trying to liberate Deluge, right? Because yeah. he was... He was... And that's what's wild, chat, is... Sir Deluge was Gilman's superior officer, and because of Deluge's actions, Gilman ends up in the downside. Like, the entire platoon ends up down... Like, exiled, yeah. right? And that's like, remember, do you remember how Volfred got exiled? No. He ran a printing press. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, did Bertrude also have, like, Bertrude, she had books? She also had, like, all sorts of other illegal stuff, but she gave him his ink. Uh, right. Scrahi? <laughs> God, I love Tito so much. Oh, I am ready for them. We are not afraid of you, especially not this night. We're knights, attack! Look how small their aura is. <laughs> Negative aura. No, wait. No, wait. <laughs> but they're fast. Oh, no, he blew up! Right, if I kill somebody, I get infinite stamina for a bit. Uh oh. It's not infinite stamina, it's more damage. Let's go, Tizo. Oops, I forgot he killed people when he exploded. Nice. I got three okay fast characters. Oh good, didn't kill me. Killed Tizo, unfortunately. Oh, that's gonna be annoying to try and get that, like, that money. What do you mean? So you can get cash by, like, doing certain things, right? But one of them has, like, an ability that immediately eliminates somebody. Where's the, where's the orb? Oh, they have it, okay. Oops. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Almost got away with them not getting one. <laughs> That's right, get out of here. Excuse me? They like just bypassed your aura. That's what jumping's like. You're supposed to jump to try and intercept them, but it didn't work so great. I love the way she poses. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Let's go! He's all OP! Look how weirdly everybody's aura shit. Oh no. No! How dare you. <laughs> we're equal, but we're fine. Oh, wait, wait, are we winning? Are we winning? No, you're not. Actually, we're pretty equal. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I gotta be careful. Oh, 
Oh yeah, because they one of their guys hit the fire, so that one kept moving. Yeah. Okay. No! Oh, you punk! <laughs> you tried. You did. No, Tito! <laughs> <laughs> Walk. Why past it? <laughs> it's because he's not like the other characters. He, he goes in straight lines, but like... Not like... He's, he doesn't walk. He goes in straight lines where he moves like... Yeah. Um, this this night, no, we had no chance. For shame. Yeah, we won. Fake not rise in rank. No kidding. Tizo! Oh, she's going to max out, I think. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> I used to soar above the mountains with the high wing remnants, and we would see the Commonwealth shining down on the horizon. It enraged us, the mere sight of it. I can fly free no longer, yet that anger, I don't feel it anymore. Can I get this? While well, casting her aura, Pamela can trigger an aura burst that banishes nearby enemies. Just, okay. Yeah, I built her on the other side last time. So. You guys were summoned sick. <laughs> May he miss four- is that what he said? Punk. Um, they're not summon sick, they're banishment yeah, sick. Opposite of summoning. Yeah. <laughs> These proves little time for rest of the Black Wagon after your fellow exiles best of the Pyre Hearts in an era of victory. Those afflicted with banishment sickness seem to be doing better at least, and express gratitude to Faith, Ezo, and Panatha for their efforts. Just then, the lone minstrel appears before you. No words escape his lips. You can guess full well. He has come to indicate to you and follow him back out to the darkness. The stars above seem to be a few and fading, and yet one still shines defiant. Oh, I guess that was... It's, it's, there's one. Oh, yes, but still, you get dialogue stuff. We will be fighting the fate. Gonna fly across all of the downside. You notice that the lone minstrel is standing there with you regarding the night sky. The gate guardian and I. We have paid witness to the liberation rites upon the fall of Solium for a long time. We have seen so much. And so I am a bit taken aback, is all, to see something which I have never seen. You look upon the stars together for a while, well then. I wish for you good fortune and the wisdom of the scribes on your ascent. The lone minstrel leaves you there alone under the night. It has grown very late and you need rest. The black wagon shall take flight again come morning. Hey, two thingies. Oh yeah, when you do Titan stars, you get their entries in the book. Right. You can go faster with trigger, remember? No, I did not remember. Something appears different now about the sacred mountain west of here. The lands near Emperor's Ascent and Emperor's Fall appear ashen. On the other hand, the once precarious regions below, which you know as Temple High Road and Temple Cistern, seem swept clean by the elements. The Lone Minstrel observes all this alongside you. In Clement weather, we have seen lately seen we either, madam. We ought to be making we ought to be able to making landing closer to Scribes Gate now. Then I suppose this means we shall soon see Celeste once more. Then I shall go tell everyone to prepare for landing. So, Tizo gains favor from the scribes, or... Wolfred gains favor from the scribes. Tizo... But Wolfred needs more. Well, no, it's not XP, it's favor, so it's gonna be a buff. So, Tizo... You arrive once more among the splendors of Mount Elodial. It appears that Dalbert and the Fate have already arrived along the other route. Seek the curse, scribes, favor. We did get new entries into the book, yeah. Violanthus, how very crafty of our muzzled... This is under King Or, so this is the worm scribe. How very crafty of our muzzled friend Jomoy. That one so diminutive as he did manage to prevail against the hive titan called Violanthus. 
The spoiler of the valley, Balantius did fall at last into a deadly trap, which doubtless he deserved. Crushed under the weight of 16,000 tons of beetle dung, he was. Though how our Jome were gathered all this stuff only to send it crashing down, he has refused to say. From the hive titan followed a fr uh, flowed a fresh, rejuvenating spring, which gladdens up at the valley's desolation quite a bit. As for Jome were, why he and his legendary job laid such a most impressive mark of valor, to which this one aspires. Impressive work, Jome were. And I think the next one is also a titan, so you can probably just flip the page. No, not this one. It'll be five, still. Yeah, there you go. It was Harn, right? That's the one tree yeah. has to kill, I think. Uh, the tempest ravaging the downside are the handiwork of the time singer Harn, known as the Sky Titan. The furious elements they are his troubled dreams, manifested in this troubled land. Uh, we, the eight, we sought to cure him of his ailment, for his unrelenting and unpleasant dreams had long become our treacherous reality. One night, we drew him toward the right of flame, a stratagem of Solium Mir's design. There, he was stricken by the stars and dazed, and overcome by the eternal shining glory. The Sky Titan thus bonded with the sky, the tempests which remain, but they are but lasting traces of his waking dream. What does that mean? <laughs> None of that is actual... Okay. <laughs> yeah. Probably have time to do the liberation right before the end of the stream. Okay. With some time to prepare after having landed, you join Tizo on a brief expedition to the monument of Jomor in Many Main. Greetings to you once again, great grandfather. You should know I often think of you more often these days even than before. The friends whom I now serve, I think they, they could use your help if you are willing to impart it. Uh, you know I do not like to ask you favors, but I think this is important. You return to the wagon once he has finished paying his respects. You have occasion once more to pursue your vacations. He also gets presents, which is the size of his aura. Okay. Ooh, the black wagon has someone who wants to speak. It's little Tizo. You observe Tizo rummaging about the black wagon, as though in search of something. He notices you there and rushes up to greet you. Uh, he's glad you're here. He was just reminiscing about old times. But just as quickly, he resumes his search. Tizo is looking for something a former exile of the Nightwings once gave him. He's growing frustrated that the object he seeks is nowhere to be found. You almost do not notice the lone minstrel's approach. I'm afraid that it is gone, Tizo. I am very sorry. Reader, it is nothing that ought to be cause for much concern, merely that Tizo has misplaced something of sentimental value to him. Oh. It was just a spare bandage, he indicates, exactly like the one on his horn. Tizo here has had many adventures with the Nightwings. Is that not so, Tizo? <laughs> he squawks in approval. His memory shall always stay with you. Is that not what matters most of all? He confirms this as well. And please do not worry yourself about it anymore. It is a symbol of a distant past besides. Tizo skulks away up into the rafters. The lone minstrel watches him go. The object that he seeks does not exist, reader. Tizo searches for it from a fleeting memory of his days with the Nightwings of the past. He performed the regular duties of other drive at first, but soon distinguished himself. It was none too su I was none too surprised. He was clearly special. He had grown close with the other members of the Nightwings when misfortune fell and the triumvirate fell apart. Perhaps Volfrid has revealed to you more of the details. As for Tizo, I feel he must make peace with the shadows of his past somehow. Perhaps then he shall cease searching. You need not worry for him, of course. He is resilient and shall always serve the Nightwings well. You might say that he was born for it. Begging your pardon, reader. The lone minstrel excuses himself in his polite way, leaving you to consider what he said. <clears throat> oh, Tizo. Oh, nice. I forgot they had roster bios. <laughs> okay, um... That gives us, like, permanent buffs for everybody if we do it. And then that's just giving a, a mentor, or like a companion, some XP. What would you prefer? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'll do this one then. Despite your growing knowledge of the Book of Rites, you yet struggle to grasp certain aspects of its teachings. Through a greater understanding comes the reader's influence. Quickness or presence. Which would you prefer? Like I said, it doesn't matter. You concentrate on your knowledge of the eight scribes and how together you compose the Book of Rites amongst their many feats. Inspiration comes to you in a flash, whether from the book or from within, you cannot tell. Yay, celebrity, so now they're faster. Permanently. 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 Jeez, oh, my hand is rashing up. Yeah, really 
nothing is. It's about time I have a day off then. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you stand before Scribe's Gate, where the Gate Guardian regards you all above an archway. Uh, Carved from stone, yeah. The exiles of the Nightwings. You must know by now that once the stars no longer shine, the rites will, shall cease. For now, step forth. Except for you, Turquick. Tarek. Tarek. You stay right there. Greetings, Celeste. The Nightwings are prepared, and as for me... You shall not blast for me under the... Under the gate again. Do you under... Do we understand each other, Turk? I don't remember what he did or said. Hi, Celeste. I apologize for my behavior before. I shall adhere more strictly to my duties. Be sure of it. Now, each of you, come forth. Please state your name and what it is that you seek whilst crossing the scribe's gate. One by one, your companions cross the gate until it is your time to do so, and you follow them in turn. The gate guardian regards you all and waves you through towards the summit. The eight scribes bid the night wings welcome. Go forth with glory. Yeah, so am I free to accompany them, Celeste, or shall I remain here? <laughs> she looks at him a while. You're free to accompany it. Accompany them, Tori. As you will, Celeste, until we meet upon the summit, then. They have, like, shining eyes. Yeah. And it's also, like, you can tell that they're really old. Oh, yeah, I don't think they're human by any means. Like, they might actually be two of the scribes, but that wouldn't make sense. With the names? No, well, even if they had different names, what doesn't make sense to me is the fact that, like, if they are two of the scribes, both of them are human. Ah, oh, it's you guys. Well, uh, come on in, I guess. You got here right on time, because I was just thinking, maybe I would close a little early here, you know? Business has been real, real good, and everything has just been just been a little slow in spots. A little slow is all. So I was thinking, maybe I should do a sale? What would you say to that? <laughs> I just haven't bought anything off them. So just to fucking run that a sale might be a good idea to live in th liven things up a, a, a bit. Ah, uh, well, I guess maybe that's a good way to look at things, and so then, am I, uh, maybe that's a way to look at things, and so then, am I gonna, I am gonna think about it, stew on it a while, but no promises, okay? So, uh, you buying something here, or what? It's so sad. Oh! Dang, we can't afford the Stardust. Do we need to keep these? We don't need to, nobody can equip them, because you have to give them to, like, Very specific, specific characters, and... Sell him the other ones. Uh, the other one would be the Kerfang. I think we did. Yeah, we can sell it, I guess. Uh, I guess buy the Stardust. Nope, not that. And then we have to go into our inventory to use it. Must be our lucky day here. I don't know what, Dad. How do I get to my... Descended from the most famous simps of all. Yeah, he did call him Granddad. Yeah. Uh... Max it out. So now his stamina, his zip and flutter cost nothing? <laughs> wait, 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 what? I still had some? Oh yeah, plus one. Okay, cool. Already ranked 20. 20. I can't even upgrade anything else. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm going in. Hey, you're working. Once more, the time has come for the liberation rite, where mo one among you can go free if you prevail. Freedom is likewise at stake for your adversaries, the fate. As your companions gather under the fall, awaiting the commencement of this final vital rite, the lone minstrel finds you and regards you in his calm fashion. Night is falling. These moments, prior to each commencement, I must admit, they give me pause, knowing so much is at stake during the trial that is to come. Tell me something, would you, reader, to ease the wanting for waiting for us both. I have traveled far and wide, even beyond these lands. However, the Commonwealth I know only through word and song. I sometimes think on what, what life would be like there, out, out there, sorry. If you were not ensnared within this place and free to roam your country, what would you have done with all your days and years rather than striving here under the stars? Sailing across the seas. Waters past the borders of the Commonwealth. Yay. 
See if Solus does not compare with the vastness of the oceans on the other side. You oft wondered at what mysteries they hold and thought perhaps you could have found them out. I understand the yearning to explore, particularly if exploring could be done on one's own terms. The life of the sailor, then. Would you would that you could find your freedom on the sea some day? Just then the low minstrel looks forth, and you see that it is time. The stars above, though faint, begin to burn. And then these rites are so cool, because it is, again, the only rites that have, like, actual singing. Yeah! And it's one of the bangingest songs in the game. There are three songs from this game on my, my Spotify playlist. The Rite of Liberation one, the For the Scribes, and then the finale, the actual credits. Fairy tale. <laughs> yeah. Like how you can see the eight scribes behind. Like, one, yeah, Hobbes in front. They're all the because you can see the imp on the book. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I hate you guys. <laughs> <clears throat> I hate you guys, but you keep winning. Yeah. The pyres burn. Each, each of the tri tri triumvirates. Tri tri triumvirates. Triumvirates is present and prepared. I concur. The pyres burn, and each of the triumvirates is present and prepared. Then, anointed one of the faith, come forth now and declare yourself, and pay any respects you have unto your adversaries, the Nightwings. The bent old Cur Dalbert steps forward and struggles for a moment with his mask. Greetings, good heralds. I am called Dalbert Oldheart. It is the greatest heart is not the only old part. It is the greatest honor of my years to stand upon this sacred site, upon which the eight scribes first anointed these glorious proceedings. Nightwings, we are honored to be in your presence once more. Father, they are our adversaries, not our hosts. We need not be so gentle with them. They shall do their utmost to keep you from your freedom. Dalbert, your son speaks out of turn. Control him. My sincerest apologies for his unnecessary outburst. Alma, please, we have worked towards this opportunity, and we must make the most of it. He puts his mask back on. My son and I stand ready to begin. Nightwings, on whose behalf shall conduct this liberation right? Choose quickly. May you heed your heart in making your choice, Rita. I trust you are prepared to play the ha hymns with me, Tarek. Always, Celeste. Choose who would be free. They are unworthy. Those who have banishment sickness. No, they're just, they don't have enough. Oh. Or rather, uh, they're just not eligible. It's not a question of them being there. They don't want to. So, <laughs> now it's, like, I know those three are the three that I'm wanting to send out. So I am going to say who will affect your gameplay. Mm, none of them. None of them? No. We've been swapping them out consistently enough that, like, well, okay, pick between Pamitha or, or Faye, because they're at level 5 and we can keep grinding up the Reds characters, so. Mm, Faye then. Okay. Oh, you mean me? Then I get to go home. But the eight scribes, what if they still want me to stay? And then, the, yeah, the other two can participate, so we'll send in Bertrand. Then shall we do what it is within our power that, for that one? And we put Tizo. Uh, yeah, Tizo's the. Um, yeah, how we should put Wolfred in. <laughs> His XP is painful to look at. Prepare yourself, Faye, for on this night the Nightwing shall prevail in your name and set you free. What's cool about Faye is you actually get to name her, but every name ends with A. What do you mean? You, her name isn't Faye, right? Oh, right, You get right, to choose like right. a I list of like. Her. Yeah. We shall give thanks to have this opportunity to face you, O Nightwings. Now let us strive to our fullest capacity, with honor and with grace. Save your strength for the right, Father. And for the, he strikes me like a really angry Zuko. And for the voyage home, let this yeah. be our final battle against them. <sighs> oh, this is not the song I thought. Mm 
look. Power shot. Oh yeah, free. Let's go. First blood by Faye. All crud. <laughs> 30 damage, baby. Let's go, Bertrude. You can do this, Armor. <laughs> I believe in you, and so do the scribes. Wait, what? What is this? What are you talking about? This is the liberation rite. What are you doing? I, it... Faye pulls out her mask. I think you are my friend, Almer. And so, I'm hoping for the best for you and for your father. He believes in you, and so do I. But we have to do our very best as well. And I know we cannot prevail. We cannot all prevail. Only the fate, or the only the fate, or the night wings. Not, but not both. Not both. Almer looks on in stunned silence. The outburst seems to have disarmed everyone. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes are going a little hazy. You're not wearing your glasses? Uh, I'm wearing contacts. <laughs> um, we all have to do our very best, and then the scribes, they're going to watch over us and make everything okay. You'll see, Almer. You'll see. She puts her mask back on as the liberation raid continues. Whether her worst lesser adversaries are bold in them, you cannot tell. <laughs> Maybe neither. So. Darren Korb is um, the lead composer for every Supergiant game. Yeah. And Ashley Barrett, who plays Celeste uh, as both the voice actress and the singer, is like the lead female vocalist in every one of their games as well. Yeah. Fudge. <laughs> so, <coughs> like, we hear her here playing... Oh. <laughs> we hear her here playing Celeste, doing the vocals yeah. there. You must now, O noble Jomor, for we beseech you. Surely we cannot prevail without your aid. If ever you have heard my prayers, I beg of you, please smile upon us now. Whether from his prayer of the scribes or simply from Dalbert's resolve, something comes over your fellow exiles here. If they are banished now, they shall not soon return. Oh dear, they reduce some of our hope. Our hope? Yep. Yeah. So we take longer to spawn. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, but in, um, she also plays the main character when you hear her sing in Transistor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I started playing that. Well, you don't hear her sing until the end of the game. Because <laughs> the entire plot of Transistors, amongst other things, Red has lost her voice. Oh, yeah. She also sings as Scylla in Hades 2. Oh, okay. Um, so, our adversaries are never going to do it again, are they? Probably not, because there's like one more, one or two more liberation rights, and it's just gonna be like they're at the bottom of the list now because they lost their favor. Because we beat them. Unless you mean like other team enemies, you could always pick to choose another yeah, character. Yeah, I know I could choose somebody from the bad guys, but I really they're feel not bad, bad guys. Okay, not bad guys from the other teams. But I feel bad for our team as well as their teams, and I can't release everybody. No, you can't. That's part of what makes this re uh, replayable. Is that you can go back and do that. Yeah. Alas, my son, once more, it seems that I have failed you. Father, wait! What good is freedom to us, anyway, if we would be apart? Hey, good point. Yeah, that's a very good point. I can go home. I think this means I can go home. She shuts her eyes. By the scribes, by the scribes. What will, but what will happen now to you, to all of you? Can you not come with me? No, no, they say not yet. The scribes, they say not yet. Although, I think your time will come. Your time will come. I do like that every time that we send somebody up, depending on who it is, will depend on which scribe pops up no yeah because one behind her went up higher while the others went down lower well yeah but that's because that's solely him he's the leader of the scribes no not that one the one behind her oh okay, okay yeah i guess that would make sense then yeah i didn't um and i will wait for you because i don't have friends back home at least 
I didn't used to. So, I want you to come join me there, okay? But now, the scribes are calling me, and so, goodbye. She falls into the shimmer pool, then, and she is gone. Goodbye. And yeah, there it is, yeah. Yeah, and please, oh scribe, watch over them, okay? Fay earned back her freedom. May she return in glory. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Father, wait! Calm yourself, my son. The liberation rite is ended. No, how can you be so calm, even now, after what happened? Did you strive this night with all your heart, Almer? Yes, but it was not enough. It was not enough. No, my son, it was enough. It was more than enough. Father. He's half human, half dog, isn't he? Nope. He looks like he is. He's just old. No, not him, the son. Oh, no, he's adopted. Right. Prevailed in the liberation against the fate. Already does this black wagon feel quieter than usual without Faye, who returned to the Commonwealth. You overhear some of your companions reflecting on this. She has passed. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Give me a second. She has passed from this place along with her eccentricities. May her absence spur us on to greater glory. You wonder who, if anyone, among you shall be the next to go. Our plan approaches a key turning point. Let us ensure it soon comes to fruition, not only for ourselves here, but for our companions and our loved ones in the Commonwealth. But we have little time now for some reflection into this. Look yonder, reader. The stars demand we go already. Let us help them usher in the end of all this. We turn your attention to the glitter of the stars. Their current rate of disappearance suggests another liberation rite shall be coming very soon. I'm gonna try and save, but we're probably gonna have to do this again. <laughs> Look how red the sky is. Right. Only one until the next liberation, right? So very likely we'll be able to finish this game next time. Yay! Uh, for now, we're gonna call it a day. I hope you folks. Enjoyed. We are done. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, with Curse the Eye of Isis and what should be the end of that game, based off the guide I kind of peeked at earlier. Uh, before we go, Ada, do you want to do your tier list now? Sure. Okay. Uh, while I set that up, let's do Operation Olive Branch. So Operation Olive Branch is a charity slash relief organization that uh, is raising funds to have uh, victims of a genocide evacuate from the locations in question, particularly focused towards Palestine, but they have some aiding efforts going to um, uh, Congo, Sudan, and Yemen. Uh, oh, I gotta make this tier list, don't I? Do you want me to make it while you talk? No, I'm pretty much done for that. So, like, uh, just, if you type in exclamation mark OOB into the chat, you can get um, a link, which I summoned up myself, and you can see... Uh, you, just, you look very distracted. I'm not very distracted. You're distracting me. <laughs> oh, Ada, good. They have a whole tier list here, so we can make this one. That's not okay. a problem. Uh, it's just not just the playable characters, though. That's okay. I'm gonna let you make yours, and I'll make mine next time, I think, because we're running low on time and you're falling asleep. Yep. Sorry. Well, yeah, I've summoned up the link into the in the, in the the Twitch chat. If you click on the first one, you can donate to the GrowFundMe. I'm asking $5 if you have more than $1,000 in your bank account, or $1 if you have less, or if you've already donated in that, because I've asked you to. What? What's going on? Uh, I was rubbing your knee. Okay. Where did I put my phone? Oh, I don't know. Focus. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Tragic. The Gilman slander is real. <laughs> Gilman's a great character, okay? Ada just doesn't like fish people. 
No, 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 that's not true. <laughs> this one goes you there. put Barker at the bottom? <laughs> oh, we don't have, um, I didn't set up the, the, the window capture. Oh, I can do that real quick. Parker, Parker would be at the bottom, actually. Go like this. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> My settings have been exposed. <laughs> <laughs> He's A. She's A. Let's see if Ada does the wise thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> He's staring right in your face. You can't not put him at S tier. Uh. Like, I know you can't see it on stream because of the camera angle, but like Tizo's, like our Tizo stuffy, my Tizo stuffy is literally just sitting next to the computer screen. <laughs> I was actually looking for him when you were like saying what you were saying. I was like, where is Tizo? I can't see him. <laughs> Not this Tizo, but the one down here. And I'm like, where is he? <laughs> well, they have like very interesting looking icons, really. Yeah. I don't know what all the greens. Oh, I guess it's, yeah. That makes sense. It's the background. Yeah, but like it's different for certain characters. Mm. It's based off where they are in the. I really like. I think they're screen idea. caps taken from like when they're in the. The multiplayer screen. Because you can play as each of these characters in multi, like in co, in uh, two two player. Okay. Uh, Do you remember who that lady is? Yes. Yeah. She, <laughs> she, yes. <laughs> it's yes. been a while and a half. That it has. Mm, you kind of go there. <laughs> oh awful. no. <laughs> That's Bertrude. Yeah, I'm trying to decide where I want her. <laughs> they barely have like like... you. You, I don't remember. He's the the leader of the um, the direct rivals to the Nightwings. Yeah, I just he's the one we just ran into. He was like, "Hey, what the hell, man?" <laughs> You're going down D. Here. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Mode, beauté, like maquillage. Hey, no! Turn off the ads! I'm trying. It's like you're not, like, awful. Don't like him? I mean, like... He's their old member that got betrayed. Yeah. Uh-oh. Pam, I like you. Bertrude. <laughs> yeah, kind of. She's not as colorful as the other characters. Yeah, and like she kind of sits somewhere in between B and C. If I'm being perfectly honest. Okay. That's fine. Do you know who the last three are? No. <laughs> okay, so Lendl is the guy on the left. He's the one from the Accusers. He's the one we beat right before we started the stream. He wasn't, like, we haven't seen him in a long time, but, like, uh, he's just kind of, like, bland, I think, personally. I don't want to call her my... my... Um, the Messenger Imp is the Messenger Imp. He's oh. literally just the Messenger Imp. And that is the leader of the... Um, of the that's other... Who, who, Milda, I think her name is, and she's the. She's another one. That she's I the cultist that like. Oh right, I'm not a fan of hers. She's convinced he Slack is gonna give them victory, and she's gonna revive him and the whole shebang. So like. Yeah. If there's ever an evil character in that entire list, Milda is the one. She kind of goes up here. You annoy me. You annoy me. You're just bland, so you could go here. Bland is not annoying. You're like, yeah, you get points for not being the worst. See? Yeah, See? Yeah, yeah, Gilman yeah. isn't even the worst in this list. <laughs> <laughs> he's still at the bottom. Nope, he's at the top of the bottom. He's the best loser. No, actually, the one that is bland technically should go there. No, Gilman! <laughs> Gilman annoys He's me. He's so though. funny, though. He annoys me! <laughs> you guys are going to get to see it because Ada got rid of him as soon as she could. But, like, Gilman's entire characterization is the most hopped up knight you can ever imagine. Like, he's literally just. My honor! He's like Steiner, if Steiner was a character in this video game. But it's I so like, good! Here's the difference. I like Steiner. 
Gilman, I can't stand. They're the same person. The only difference is Steiner <laughs> hates you at the beginning. <laughs> Meanwhile, the first Gilman interaction... pisses me off! The first interaction you have with Gilman... <laughs> He's like, you know what? My commanding officer's kind of a duty head. I'm changing sides. It's great. <laughs> and then he spends the entirety of the rest of the game being like, man, I really crapped on my role as a knight, huh? Maybe I should, like, think about that. For he's, he's amazing. I don't like him. He also has, like, no in-betweens between, like, negative 100 energy and 2 billion. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's always like, yeah! Or... I, I think that's up. why so I can't funny. stand it, is because of the two billion. He's so funny! I've I never seen so many, it. like, yell emotes in this game until you meet him. <laughs> I got rid of him the first oh, God. chance I got. He's I was so like, funny. bye! <laughs> the Gilman what was slander. It? Was, it was like the first right, wasn't it? He was the very first character I got rid of. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember if he joins before or after that. He probably joins before the first liberation, right? Because, like, logically, you start with, um... Uh... You start with Hedwin, Jodariel, and Rookie. You find Faye. You kind of go down here. You kind of go up here. And I don't remember when everyone else joins, so... So, Tizo makes sense. No, <laughs> obviously. <It's> Tizo. <laughs> Tizo is the cutest. Why don't you turn him around then? <laughs> Look, I can't find He's his also, twin. <laughs> There's also a bit in the game where he just starts cussing out the other yeah! guy. <laughs> oh my god, it's great! <laughs> like, someone throws shade at him and he's just like... Pause. Like, the game's like... <laughs> Tizo doesn't seem to react. And then just like... All caps... Scratch! <laughs> and it's just like... <laughs> You just like pass over the translation. It's like Tizo said something uncouth about this character's mother we and a bunch of other obscenities. It. And it's just like, dang, Tizo, you had some words to say there, Buckaroo. Yeah, that was great. I love Tizo. <laughs> I love Tizo. He's great. He's and like the favorite. sound, he he's like like every other character kind of like does things slightly quietly. You'll get sound bites every now and then. But like whenever you move with Tizo, it goes like, hey, 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 hey. Well, and I think Good. it's, like, as soon as Tizo was introduced, like, not only did I recognize him from being talked about all the time, but as soon as he was introduced, I went, he's so cute! Yeah, and, like, like, Tizo, unlike everybody else, didn't technically commit a crime, he's just born a demon, so... Yeah. Um, Hywin... Hedwin, yeah. Hedwin, I really enjoyed his story, and I felt bad about holding him back for so long, but I was like... I want Other you people get to go. But he wasn't even sure himself back. he wanted to go, right? So this is how I started the game. I started the game with getting rid of the characters that I least liked. Really, it really got limited to like, oh, you, no, no, she really just got rid of Gilman and then everyone was left. She's like, oh, they're fine. Because like, Rookie's in there too, and he's not like that low, is he? Where would you put Rookie Greentail? Rookie Greentail. He's the dog kid. He's like right above Sandra. Nope, that's not Rookie, that's Barker. Nope. Oh, him? Yeah, him. Yeah, I loved him. Yeah, and he's the second guy you got rid of. Oh, yeah. Because, like, you got rid of Gilman. You were like, get out of here. I hate this guy. <laughs> and then you were like, okay, who deserves to go? <laughs> and then I was like, you know what? This old dog deserves to go. And, like, Let him go. Each of their stories is so much more interesting than you give them credit for immediately. Like, when you meet them, they're just kind of like, yeah, we're, we're criminals, kind of. But, like, it's very easily explained to you that the Commonwealth is pretty corrupt as the story goes on. Well, I understand that. And no, I I'm just talking for chat actually oh, right now. Right? For so, chat. Like, so for the sake of it, like, we'll run down the list of their crimes here. Hedwin deserted his post as a soldier because he fell in love with one of the harpies, or the harps as they're called. Yeah. Um, because there's an ongoing war between the Commonwealth and the harps, which brings us to why Pameth is there, but we'll get there. Jodariel, why did she get it? I don't remember. They didn't tell us her crime. I thought she did. Well, she has to have been said, but it's been a while. Like, No, I don't think she ever told us. I think she got framed for something, actually. Oh, wait, yes. She got framed for something on the battlefield. And yeah, she's a, she was a commander. Like They call her Captain Jodariel because she's a captain in one of the, the, the Commonwealth's army. Pamitha is a harp, so they kind of get sent to the uh, Commonwealth as soon as they're when, captured. Yeah, when they when they lost the war. But Well, they didn't lose the war. The war is ongoing. Oh, right. The war is but still ongoing. What happened ongoing. is that she... 
saw that her sister, Tamitha, was going to do something stupid that was going to get a lot of people killed, both sides, and she ratted them out. So Tamitha got caught, and eventually she said, I got to fix this, I got to find pa Tamitha, and she turned herself in as, like, an enemy soldier. Uh, Faye, I don't remember if... It's, pr Faye it's probably just communion. Any... Like, we got told communing is, like, taboo, Yeah, communion right? is taboo, but Faye doesn't have any memories of it. Like, we named Faye. Yeah, um... I don't think she had it. She was born without a name, I think. is the in Or, no, she ends, She says my name's something with A, and then you get to pick. I don't remember. Rookie ran a black market scheme. <laughs> <laughs> He's a con man. Sandra, we don't know. The messenger imp obviously doesn't. Barker, that's not Barker. Uh... <laughs> She does witchcraft crap. Yeah, <laughs> like, she does witchcraft. The bog, the bog dwellers tend to get sent real quick to the downside, unfortunately. Uh, time that we already mentioned. Volfred ran a printing press, which is super extra illegal, because reading and writing is illegal. We don't know his. Orelek, we don't know, but Orelek was part of the Nightwings before your group came along. Uh, don't know. Gilman, like we said, he did something during a, a, a fight that was consistent with dishonor, and so... But he saved the life of his platoon. It's just that everybody involved in that deserted the battlefield, technically speaking. So him and Deluge over here got sent to the downside. No, it's not that. Gilman Deluge. didn't do it. Deluge ran from a fight because they knew they were going to die. And in, for the worms, that's a no-go. You go and you fight until you die. That's yeah. in their code of honor. And Gilman was going to do it, but he decided to listen to his, his commanding officer, which got them all exiled. Yeah. Which is why he stops listening to him when you meet him the first time. She's crazy, like in a in a wild sense. Like, yeah, we yeah. don't know. Uh, we don't know everybody here. We don't care about. I mean, he's dumb. He, he got. I hate him. He's just stupid. He but yeah. Was, he and was then you. Up for society. The reader. The reader was for banned. reading. For reading. All right, that's your thing. You got anything else you want to talk about? I know I kind of ran through their crowds. We didn't really run through your tier list, actually. Yeah, I tried running through my Go tier ahead, list. continue. I'm sorry. I was like, for the benefit of the streamer, the stream viewers, we might as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Tizo's at the top because I absolutely love Tizo. Hydwin, I really enjoyed his story. Um, yeah. And I felt bad holding off on him, but I was like, I really liked him. Like, the original three, and Hedwin, I enjoyed. Hedwin's characterized by the fact that he's not sure he wants... He he deserves redemption, right? Yeah, he's very unsure whether or not he deserves redemption. He's he's teetering on it until eventually he meets Pam and then he's kind of realizes, hey, I do deserve redemption and I do want to find this girl again. Well, even when he gets, like, liberated, he was, he's like, really, you want to send me up? Like, maybe I can help my others here. No, can't I? And then you're like, no. Yeah. Go up, right? Um, Jordi L. Jordi Dardariel. I literally only kept her because we used her for for the game. <laughs> the the it demon was characters. just for gameplay, but they, I would have sent her away earlier. They do the highest amount of damage. They walk the slowest, and they have the biggest aura. So I was like, big numbers go boom. Yes. Yeah, so I kept her for a long time. Pam, I have been. I ha like I enjoy her story, but at the same time, I'm like I don't pay enough attention to her, which is why she's like towards the bottom of the A list. Um, and Faye, Faye is just adorable. She's I like that Faye. Sweet little adorable I never kid. noticed the first time I played, but like the sticks she has shaped the symbol of the scribes. Like mm -hmm. we see a lot of the scribe symbol suddenly Everywhere. in the designs. Like yeah. Volfred has it like carved into his head as well. Yeah. Um, Rookie, Rookie was one of my favorite NPCs. I didn't even notice he had a mustache for like a long time. We asked <laughs> him to shave it off, right? I think there's a bit. Yeah, where we did. We did. <laughs> Uh, Sandra, I thought was quirky and fun. Yeah, we're probably gonna see her again, unfortunately, because she runs. She's basically the. Uh, she's she runs the like tutorial character stuff. She can get you to do training stuff, and she talks to each of the characters one on one uh, when they hit a certain like character development. And she's like, oh, "Okay, we're gonna do a thing. We're gonna test your capacities with this kind of character, where you get a one v three, a set of like spirit triumvirates, and then when you do that, she gives you the legendary items we had that we sold earlier because we can only give it to one type of character. Mm -hmm. So like. The messenger imp? Yeah, um, the messenger imp. Um, I like his interactions with Tizo. <laughs> Doesn't Tizo, like, bully him? Yes, Tizo bullies him. <laughs> 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 the poor guy. No, that's um, Delbert. That's the old guy we just beat. 
Yeah, I feel so bad for being him. I wanted to release him, but I need my party of to go as well. Of all the leaders of the triumvirates, he's probably the most sympathetic. He Except is. he's kind of like, to me, he just kind of like doesn't stand out that much. No, he doesn't really stand out much, but at the same time, I'm like, he is so adorably sweet. Yup. And like... Uh, like even just now his son's like well what is true freedom if we're separated yeah I mean the the story says I think that Delbert ag- adopted uh, Elmer when Elmer was exiled yeah um Bertrude I don't like her she's funny I like her <laughs> she's, she's funny I will admit that but she creeps me out um Tamitha Tamitha Tamitha's annoying. Oh, God. Tamitha, Tamitha is like, you have Pamitha telling you every chance you have, please free my sister. Yeah. And Tamitha is just, every time I see Tamitha, she's like super bloodthirsty. So I'm like, I don't think I want to. <laughs> I don't think I want her to be back in normal society. It's not going to end well. Like, if there's ever a character that might mess up the plan if you liberate them, she's one of them. If it's not Barker, because Barker's just like, chaos, murder, chaos, murder. damage. <laughs> I'm like, no, nope, 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 nope. Uh, Wolfred. Wolfred represents a very good version of a mastermind trait, I think. I think, I think so too, but at the same time, I find him just sort of dull. Well, he's not like the most exciting character, but no. like, I think that. I think his mind reading is really interesting, which yeah. is why he's not in the D tier and he's in I, the C tier. I was going to say, when they introduce you to him and you have a conversation with him, he's like, oh, cool, I'm blah, blah, I'm Wolfred. I'm the, well, actually, he says, I'm Sandalwood, my name is Wolfred. Because I'm the mastermind that got you guys together. You've never met me in person. You just picked up my messages. I'm going to explain. So he explains kind of like everything that happens. And then he tells you telepathically, um, I'm also a reader by telling you like, and when you read his mind, it's another one of those like wow effects when you play the game because it's English voice acting that comes out and you're like, wait, what? This is an option. (laughs) It's just like, whoa. Also, fun fact, Wolfred is played by the same guy who plays Hades in Hades. Okay. Um, the son, I admire his tenacity right. about his adoptive dad. He's so very aggressive about it, yeah. He's very aggressive about it, but his tenacity to just see the person who took him in to be free. I like the way that it's like a show-don't-tell about like the way he feels about the thing. You don't yeah. get like spoken lore about it. You just kind of see that... like. He's talking about Dalbert, and he's defensive of Dalbert, and he really yeah. wants Dalbert to get back up it, it, to the Commonwealth. You can feel just how devoted he and is. And he's never going to say it, that he thinks his dad's going to die of old age before he gets to go to the Commonwealth, but you get the feeling that that's where the sense of urgency comes from. Yeah. And, like, the fact that when they lose, Dalbert, like, before the, the, the liberation right, Dalbert's like, oh, thank you so much for this opportunity. We fought so hard to get here. And then when they lose... You know that, like, Dalbert's not going to get another chance at this because yeah. of the way that the system works. Yeah. And the way that, like, he's old. If the next time that the... Uh, they're not the, the accusers. They were the fate. The fate. The next time the fate's going to be there, Dalbert's probably not going to be... Around. Around. His son's going to take over. Yeah. Um, for the next guy, Tor. Orak. Uh, he... I don't know enough about him yet. Like, I know quite a bit, but at the same time, so like, we know, he's yeah. still newer to the game. We know he was believed dead. We know he shows up surprisingly. And he's he replaces angry. one of the, the other uh, triumvirates when you're expecting to, like, do a right, a regular right against them at some point. Yeah. And he shows up with his triumvirate, and you're like, what the hell? They're wearing Nightwing colors, but inverted. Was it that, tri- like, the ones that I thought I was going to be fighting was one that I wanted to set free? No, I think you, we were going to do against Barker. Oh, okay. I think. Uh, and yeah, so he shows up and like, Wolfred's immediately like, whoa, I saw this guy die. How did this happen? Yeah. And Orlok's like, no, you left me for dead, you, you bastard. Like, he's super pissed off and it's been long enough that he turned into a demon in between. Yeah. Uh, so like, there's a sense of like, y- you know what happened. That's when that's what triggers Wolfred's like explanation of what happened to you guys. Because like, to his original triumvirate. Volford was the reader before your character was the reader, and the events that happened prior to the events of the game make it so that Volford didn't want to continue being the reader because he feels that he failed his friends since one of their members was set to be liberated, Orelek. What like that place was taken by their third partner. And so like that's why it's kinda like, oh, 
Oof. Yeah. Uh, I do like. We don't get much more of Orlix. And yeah, that's that's my that. tier list. <laughs> Everybody else doesn't matter. <laughs> Everybody else pisses me off. Listen, Gilman's here. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so Orlek, Orlek, I think, is a good character, but you don't really get more about, like, the right, the story itself. We get, um, um, uh, we essentially just get the way he feels and the way, like, he develops from that point on. Yeah. But yeah, that's gonna be it. Uh, and as you guys can tell, Pyrus really likes the game. I think that Supergiant have only busted out masterpieces of video gaming. And I'm not in love with the gameplay of Bastion and Transistor, but the storytelling that they go with it is mind-blowing. Like, even if you're like... Ba like, to me, I was like, Bastion kind of just looks kind of bland, like, from a, a, a visual perspective. And then I played the game because I started with Pyre, and I worked my way back. I did Pyre, Transistor, Bastion instead of Bastion, Transistor, Pyre, which was the release order. And when I did Transistor, because Transistor has a pretty popping visuals. It's it's a cyberpunk game, but like... I started on stream. An action RPG it. type thing? It's really cool. It tells it, an interesting story. Yeah, like, I gameplay-wise, like, it's sort of... Dude, and the Transistor sort of so sexy looking, like... Yeah. <laughs> just a big old I, the, slab of magic metal. <laughs> the fighting in that one reminds me of Hades, but that's... But like it's, it's you it. can pause the game at will to like yeah. yeah it's it's very strange it's definitely odd uh, and you can tell like Supergiant has used for the first four games they've made the same graphics engine so you get the style sense of it too um, and then when you get to like Bastion I was like Bastion is just like floating islands and stuff and it's so much more than that because just like every other game you start in a world that has existed for a long long time. And most of the time, they put you at the end of, like, the timeline of this world. So, like, with Bastion, the world has ended. Something happened, a calamity that they have a name for, but you don't know what it is until you get to work your way back to see what that calamity was and exactly what the trigger for that calamity was as well. Yeah. Likewise, with Transistor, you're in a, a, a cyberpunk world, and... But it's not like the cyberpunk in the same sense that we see, like, mega corporations have ruined the world and blah, blah, blah. You see that those things have happened, but it's more of a utopic system up until the events of Transistor happens. And then it just gets bonkers. Mm -hmm. And then Pyre, again, you're in a world where, like, not necessarily ended, but you get the sense that, like, the status quo needs to change. And you guys are the ones to change it. And then we get yeah. Hades, which is a bit of a deviation from the norm, because in Hades, you're in Greek mythology... But, like, not an ending point like everything else you've done in the Supergiant games. You're kind of like a middling point. You've yeah. seen most myths go by, but you're writing the myth of Persephone and... And Hades. And Hades and stuff like that. So, it's... It's just the way they chose to, like... I think that the strongest part in Supergiant's writing is their characters. Yeah. Like, they make your their characters so very lifelike and real... And then that affects the stories because the lore is really cool. Like, but like, I, I don't, I can't pinpoint exactly what makes it great. They're just really good at writing it, and I think it's just an oh. important factor that they're passionate about their games, and you feel it in every mm -hmm. game you play. By the way, the minstrels would be sitting in like A S tier. I can't believe they're not on the list. Right? What the hell? Why? <laughs> oh. Anyway. Shame. I'm going to say goodnight. Yeah, I'm also going to say goodnight. Hope you folks had a good time. See you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Time with the finale for Chris I of Isis. Bye-bye. No more mic now. No more desktop. And bye-bye. Bye-bye, I say. Huh. Why? Wait. Are you clicking the right one? Yeah. That's pretty good. That's good. It's never given me that problem before. Okay, that's very weird.